Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street. Now, we have got some very good things for you today because I love dressmaking and look behind me. Oh, I have to, which way do I have to go? That way, it's there. Uh, that lovely dress, we've got that later on today with Fiona. Um, but our first little item today is our early bird offer. Now, this is the first time I've had an early bird like this. This is a superb, can I hear the tweets? Can we hear the tweets there? Look at this, it's a large piece of fabric. This is a half metre. That print, can you see the print? Isn't that beautiful? Half metre. And you're saving two pounds on this. So this is four ninety nine for half a metre. Now, if you wanted to buy a metre or two metres, just multiple the number of units in your basket and you will get it as one piece. I'm saying that because although half a metre is fabulous and you can do lots with it, you could also make the dress that Fiona is going to be coming on with later on. And I would go for at least three metres for that dress. Um, so then you put in six units. So absolutely beautiful fabric. It's a very nice sort of lightweight. I think it's cotton poplin. Um, lovely, takes uh, gathers really beautifully. Lovely sort of light summery weight. Really nice to wear. Cotton lawn fabric. So you're saving two pounds on the regular price. This is our early bird special. This lovely print. And I love the way it's got the sort of cerise and the yellow and the gold in there. So this will take you through to autumn if you wish. You can, of course, use it for any other craft making, bag making, etc. But I'm thinking dress because of the lovely way it flows and it would wear, be so pretty, so comfortable to wear. Really lovely. And it would make one of these dresses from So Girl that I have behind me and that Fiona's going to come on the show and show us later. So really lovely piece of fabric here. Half a metre, £4.99, but of course you can buy multiples and you will get them in the piece, the one piece. Look at this, you can see how beautifully it pleats. It's just pleating there. You're very pleats pleat to see that, are you, Paul? <laughs> and it also gathers really beautifully. You can see how that gathers. Or you could make, I mean, you can make it sort of a caftan. Can you imagine the caftan in that lovely big print? A sari. 
not a sari, sarong is what I'm thinking of, or sarong, something, it's so, oh dear, we're going to have a day of it today. Paul just said it's so right, so right, so wrong. No, a sarong, absolutely beautiful. Now, if anybody that's just joined us for the early bird, uh, the early bird is our special offer of the day and it's to get the things rolling. You're going to save two pounds for a half metre, so effectively four pound a metre that you're saving. It's 4 99 for the half metre, so under £10 for a metre. You can buy it by the half metre as we have here. You just buy the, uh, pay the post and packing once. And then, of course, you could also buy in motorbuys. So this is our early bird offer. It's a really lovely, soft cotton lawn, which will gather, fold, pleat beautifully, flow, nice flowing garment. And of course, you could use it for other projects as well. You could fussy cut the flowers and applique them. Look at these lovely big flowers. Look, you could just fussy cut around that and applique that onto a cushion or something. Make a really stand out um, pocket. Use it for collars and cuffs and plackets. You could even make a shirt or blouse out of it. It's, it's that lovely cotton, really nice fabric. And as I say, it folds, it pleats. You can see where it's pleated here. It just will hold its shape beautifully. Now we have got lots of lovely new buyers joining us. So good morning to the new buyers. And let's just remind you that we have one post and packing for the day. £3.95 covers you all day. So you can check out and check out again later and check out again later when you buy something else. And it will still only be that same single post and packing of £3.95. And there's obviously different ways that you can order from us. So again, if you're new, um, you can do it via the website or, of course, we've got that telephone number you can see there, 0800 001 4433. So what we're starting with here, our early bird offer, just to reiterate, it's this fabulous half metre of cotton lawn fabric with this really bold print, lovely big bold print. Nice cotton lawn, so it does fold and everything. It does fold and gather and pleat. I would make a dress out of this, of course. I like my dresses. Um, so I'd probably make a long flowing dress. I particularly like the one we have behind us. I don't remember the name of it, but we will hear it later. But this would be perfect, this dress we've got behind us here. That's the Frieda dress. So Fiona's going to talk to us about the Frieda dress later on. Um, and this would be beautiful in that. Absolutely beautiful. Elliot wants it men's beach shirt. Yes, a men's beach. It, it's a beautiful um, fabric, beautiful soft cotton, cotton lawn, nice and crisp. So very lovely to wear. We now can go on holidays again, sort of getting there, aren't we? So that's really lovely, lightweight fabric to make for something to go on holiday with. We're going to leave that for now, but don't forget you can still buy it. It's still available. Do check out if you have, because we don't want it to be out of stock when you actually get round to checking out your basket. In your basket doesn't mean it's yours. You do have to check out and order it for it to be yours. But let's go through the menu for today. As I have already alluded to, firstly, we have pre-cuts, which are some fabulous 10... Oh, lots of K, K facets. So they're 10... Um, 10 inch squares in packs. We also have some fat quarters in packs. Really fabulous fabrics we've got here. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got So Girl Frida dress with Fiona herself. Sorry, that's nine o'clock. And then we have, oh, let's have a look at that again. Just look at that dress to show you. It is on pre-order and indeed some people are already ordering it. Lovely, comfortable, easy to wear dress with some various sort of hacks. And Fiona always provides hacks and a blog that you can go to with sewing tips. So you can really, I love the way she models them. They always look so amazing. Um, and then we have sewing room tools at 10 o'clock. So lots of different useful tools that you might want to grab whilst you can. At 11 o'clock, we're back with Fiona for the Sew Girl Betty dress. This is another one of our beautiful dresses. This one has buttons and she's going to show us a hack on how to make that. Again, that is a really, really pretty summery dress. 
And then we finish the day on a fabulous fabrics hour. And there are some really beautiful autumnal looking fabrics. Still beautiful cottons, but autumnal looking. So that's what we've got for the day. Now let's just have a quick look at the website, particularly for the newbies amongst us. So on the website, if you click on watch live, and then you scroll down, you'll see the early bird there. And then all the pre-orders, so everything else that we have got on the shows this morning, you can pre-order. You don't need to wait until I show them to you. Um, that's all of them down there. You can see look at those beautiful, glorious colours of fabrics. It's all the different fabrics there. Um, and then we have some books. And then we go into the next hour with some more fabric, this time more dressmaking fabrics. We have the useful interfacings, elastics, buttons, etc. So it's everything that you might need to make the dresses that we have on the shows today. You can just add to your basket, check out, and there's some of the other patterns, look. And there's a few bits of happy that you saw going through. More fabric here. There's Anna Marie Horner fabric there. She'd actually just done a virtual lecture for Festival of Quilts, which is running on now. All the Beyond Festival stuff is running still. Um, right, so let's get cracking. Crack a lacking on all this. Which John shall I go to first? Okay. All right, so the most popular on pre order, I'll go for that one, which is the Kaif Facet. Ocean. Which one is the ocean? There, yeah, this one, this one. The blues? The blues. So I have got a pack that's already been open, which means I can go through it. Now these, this is a pack and it's 10 inch squares. There's 42 pieces of 10 inch squares here. We're getting a lot of, oh, sorry. oh, thanks Bernadette. Hi Wendy, lovely to see you. Lovely day ahead. That's fantastic. Uh, so we've got these beautiful fabrics here. Look at these. Now, K Facet fabrics. Uh, this, these are, are free spirit, nice and lightweight. And it looks as if you sort of get two of each design in here. But they're always such glorious colours. And we've all seen his quilts, his beautiful quilts that you can create using these. And a lot of the prints are small, which means they're fabulous for using small, small squares, small triangles, etc. You can do all your different quilting patterns with these. I love this one. It's like the geodes. So two of each. <gasps> this is a beautiful one too. Look at that. Look at that big sort of cabbage rose. So these are 10 inch squares and there's 42 of them. And this pack is 44.99. The fans. I love this. You're a fan of that. Oh dear, it's going to go on all day, isn't it? So we think this is part of the collective. It is, it's K Facets Collective Classics. So some of them are joint, actually designed by Brendan, who is Kaif's partner. And there's another chap called Philip who also does them. And he does the big florals and the intricate designs. Oh, I love that one. Look at that, look at that. I think that is. I want to go like that with it. This is the one by Philip. But even this, look, it's a spot, but a spot with a difference, isn't it? It's more like a splodge than a spot. This is, this is a lovely one too. Really pretty designs. These would make, I mean, you can, you can cut these into smaller pieces or you can use them as the size they are. And you can make a really colorful quilt just by piecing these together. They are so beautiful, very quick. So the three designers are in the collective, Kaif, of course, Brendan Morby and Philip, what's his surname? Philip somebody, Philip Jacobs. He does things like the feathers and the larger flower prints. So this would be one of his. But they've all got that same theme to them, haven't they? All the colours, the intricacy of the designs. 
So he does the designs and then Keith then does the colourways. Oh. So we're going to go to another one of these. So that's the one pack. The prism, is this this one? That's this one. So again, it's $44.99 for 42 pieces. Each of them are 10 inches. This is part of the, it is part of the collective range, the collective classics it's called. This, look at this, it looks like a kaleidoscope. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I like the colours in this. It's like sort of kaleidoscopes, fans. I'm just turning over sort of two at a time so we can see the print. So again, it's the same sort of designs as before. Now sometimes there seems to be three in there this time. God, these colours are beautiful, aren't they? This is like the geodes again, I love these. Really pretty designs, look, look, look at the detail and the flowers. This is one of his most famous ones. And then this one here. You could certainly make a patchwork cushion. You can make bags, patchwork bags. You could cut these into four. You could cut them. You could do them into triangles, so that you can have flying geese, pinwheel, all sorts. They work, even when you make them smaller. They still work. Look at that. So they do work beautifully. So you can have them as the whole piece, or you can cut them into smaller, and they still work. There's still beauty in every single part of it. I think my favourite is this sort of geode one in all the different colours. And this is a, a check, but it's a check with a difference, always with a difference. Nice little spot. A lot of people are buying multiples of these, which is a good idea because you can really make lots of lovely things. You could make, you could make a whole bedding set with this. Duvet cover, pillow cushions. Lovely blues. Ooh. And this is the leaf. So many colours. It's all of a theme. But you get all these colours in it. Look at that one. Look at the depth of colour in that one. And I think it's one of those things you almost have to just put them together randomly. Don't try and decide which one goes where too much. This is, yes, if you have a design wall, a K-facet design wall, which we have shown before, you can actually, of course, then just put them all up. You just sort of, it's a bit like um, the old uh, game that you used to get where you've got a felty background and um, felty, felty pieces that you just put on and created your own scenes. Now we have one more K-facet 10-inch um, charm pack. This is Parakeet. So you get it in this nice finished pack, of course, and we've got some that's open so we can actually go through them. So again, it's, it's the same thing. It's the Free Spirit range. It's um, K Facets collect Collective Classics, again, 42 pieces, 10 inch, each, 10 inch squares each. And there seem to be two of each. So there's just, I think so, oh, I've just, just passed my geodes. Bring that one back, look, I love that, it's lovely, isn't it? The fans, don't tell me you're a fan of that. Checks, they're just different and they go beautifully together. So if I can just open them like that, you can see how they go together. Oh, we have a review of this one, five star review, uh, which says absolutely beautiful fabric and accurately cut into the squares. It's a great way. You can't wait to make a quilt. I agree with you. I think it's, they're so beautiful. Nicely cut. So then you can go quite easily into smaller five inch squares if you want to. You can cut them into triangles. You can cut them into strips. Or, or you can leave them this big and just have this gloriously big panelled 
really nice and easily panelled quilt cover or duvet cover or large bag or cushion. I love the disappearing nine patch. Can you imagine? So you have three different ones. Do them a nine patch and then you can make it into a disappearing nine patch really easily. All these beautiful colours, they just look so good together. And you could actually mix them. They would go with each other as well. Which is why I think me just, if I, that's why it's all one collective, but different colourways. But if I bought that one in, so this is the blues we had earlier, and put those together, they still go. They still look great. So I can definitely see a point in buying all three of these. Let's spend your money for you. Really beautiful. Don't forget, there's lots of people put, putting these in the basket, but they're not yours until you've checked out. And just the one PMP for the whole day, so don't worry about checking out repeatedly. I love this one. This is beautiful with all the colours in it. So really lovely. I have got a little cushion. You could, but you've got quite a few different pieces there. Yeah, I mean, you can use this for all sorts of things, of course. And it is nice, as I say, if you actually use even this big bold print here, if you, if you just use that as a square, you can use that as a square, it still looks good. Doesn't matter that you're only seeing a bit. If you use it as a little triangle, it still looks good. If you use it as a strip, it still looks good. Doesn't matter how, all, because of all the colours and the detail on it, you can use it as a piece, as a big piece, or you can cut it into smaller pieces. And there we have one, one more. Lots of different things. Look at that. It is a good way of getting Kay Facet fabrics into your collection because his fabrics are glorious. The colours are absolutely superb. And I just love the way that he mixes colours in such a vibrant way. You can just tell, just by looking at it, you can tell it's a cave fabric. I've got to make sure that, that goes with that one. Or does it go with that one? I'm not sure now. So let's look at some Tula pink as well. Let's put those to one side. Which one? Should we go with the smaller or the larger? This one. Look at this. Look at that. Again, this is another designer, Free Spirit Fabrics again, but another designer that uses colour in a beautiful, beautiful way. Let me undo this. So what have we got here? It's £149, which means you can get it in split pay if you wish. So it would be three spit, spit, split payments of £49.99 each. I'm trying to get in here, into this, undo this thing here. I have got to put it back. I know I've got to put it back. I'm quite good at putting them back. <laughs> Might not be in the right order. Now we are very limited on this one. It is beautiful. I mean, it is beautiful. If you think so, it's got, what do we say it has here? 40, how many pieces? 42 fat quarters. So you divide that by four. And that is, <laughs> is that, that's what I was trying to get to. It's 10 metres, is it? Is it 10 metres? Somebody out there will know. So the, again, just beautiful prints that go so well together. We have had these beautiful prints before, not necessarily in a big bundle like this. Look at them. I'm just going to put them out in a fan. It is such a stack. And again, they all go beautifully together. So look, I'm just going to put them, this will keep them in this right order, just to keep Paul and Elliot happy. <laughs> They're never happy, apparently. They're so beautiful. Look at this. Oh, mustn't put it out of the shot too much. You can chase it. Good. I will then. Look, there's so many of them. 
can't they be? look at these? I mean, I just, I'm just going to have to move things out of the way. There's so many. They're so beautiful. So we've got all the different patterns and then the color, all the different colours within those patterns. That's a lovely one because it's got all the different colours. Let me open this one and show you this one. This is beautiful. Open it up and look what you have. All of the colours through that. So it's sort of an ombre pattern going all the way through. Really, oh dear. ombre believable. <laughs> so it's very lovely. All these beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Really worth having in your stash. There's so many things you can make with a fat quarter. As we know, because we have some fat quarter books on the show too. So I'm going to put those there. Now I'm going into more blues. And then we've got that lovely ombre one in purples. So it's sort of going through all of the palette of colours. Really beautiful. This, it's just, I'm just running out of space to put all this beautiful fabric. And the last couple of pieces. So it's something for every colourway, everything you want to do. I mean, these fat quarters, I mean, not only can they make beautiful projects themselves, haven't done a really lovely layout there, have I? But they are really also very good for putting together, making things together or using for an intricate area. You can have these, in, if you're making a shirt, you could have something quite plain and then add this colour for pockets, cuffs, welts. Um, if, you're, if you're making a skirt that's plain, why not add a nice colourful pocket? Or what about your uh, inseam pockets and just have a peak of colour? For, bind for bindings and for piping, you can use this. We, one of the um, patterns that Fiona has has a belt. It's a self-fabric tie belt. But why use self-fabric? Why not use a contrast fabric to make it a bit different? So, so much you can do with fat quarters, as I say, including books with lots and lots of different projects in them. So don't forget, if you've popped this in your basket, do check out before you potentially lose it. I'm just going to put those back. Let's have a look at some of the books so that gives you some ideas of what you can do with these. Fat Quarter Accessories. This is by Susie Johns. And... Uh, I'm going to show you this book. So this is £12.99. There's 25 projects to make from Fat Quarters. Lots and lots of different projects here. I always go from the back, so I'm going to try and go from the front this time. So only everything, I mean, look at this. So Susie Johns is quite known for her books and her different makes. And I love some of these. These are not just big projects. There's lots of little projects and, of course, the book starts with basic information and basic techniques to help you create the projects that are in here. And I like the fact she's got different neckwear in this one. So you can see how you could use some of this scallop edge collar look. Just put that round a plain round neck t-shirt. Um, you can, don't have to attach it so you can wear it with different things. Little pendant. Just using little scraps of fabric. I love this necklace too. Really something quite different. And really showcasing some beautiful fabrics. Oh, rolled bead, look at that. That's so different, isn't it? All you need is just small amounts of fabric. Nice, easy, step-by-step -step illustrations to take you through. So headwear, so hat, sun hat, this is really great. And then we've got, I mean, everything. And then what brooches and corsages. So these are very much little accessories, as the, it says on the front of the cover. Flower corsages and jewellery. So these are just lovely little accessories. So something a bit different. Little fab fabric purse, tassels, lanyards. So nice little, pro nice quick and easy little projects to make. So it is 12 .99, 25 projects in there, and they're all from Fat Quarters or other small fabric remnants. Let's look at some other fabric. Let's pop these ones back in. So I have also got a, I've got more Chula Pink actually. I've got a smaller set of Chula Pink. I'm just making sure I keep the right ones together. 
Now this smaller set, oh, the smaller set we've got here, let me just make sure I keep that together, otherwise I'll be putting the wrong things away. We've only got four of these, only got four. So it's lots of these lovely prints again. It's the same prints as we've had. Now this is 69.99. So, okay, so I, you're just please bear with me, but Paul has just said, we tried to get more, but she put her foot down because it's flamenco and they're on one foot. This is what I'm having to deal with all day. I hope you're all rolling around and laughing at that. <laughs> so this is, yes, it's the same sort of lovely, beautiful prints, but this time we've got them in these lovely flamingo pink colours, really beautiful colours. So they actually complement. There's some of them that are repeated in the other bundle but some of them are different. So they are very, very pretty. There is only four available of these. And this time we get, I'm trying to see how many we get in here, 16 pieces, 16 fat quarters this time in this bundle for 69.99. Really beautiful fabrics. This is the one with the doves. So it's, they're so pretty, the designs with so much detail and so much colour. But again, you can, I'm not going to repeat that one. <laughs> you, can, uh, you can make small things or you can make larger. What do you want to do with these? Because they're such lovely little prints, they can be worked in small pieces as well as bigger pieces. Really beautiful colours. I love the geode one. Looks so, it's got such depth to it, I feel. And it's a lovely weight of cotton. Really beautiful. It is like the geodes. It reminds me of topography. I remember when we did geography and we learned about topography. All the highs and lows of the mountains and that's what we did. And then we have a little print in this one. Look at this flower. Just a bit different. I love the colours. I really do. So these are fat quarters, 16 in this bundle for 69.99. But we do have limited quantities on these. Put that one back in its place. But it doesn't actually matter how you put them together. Stripe and spots go nicely. Throw a little bit of geode into it. And you can see that they all work together. It doesn't really matter because they work so well. Really beautiful fabrics. We'll leave that with you now. And then, oh, unleashed fat quarter pack. Now that has four pieces in it. Let's make sure that goes with that. Oh, which one I've got? I've got a whole load of spots. What about this one? No? Is that that one? That's the one. Okay. This is a bit different, isn't it? 12 98 for four. So, and then we have a plane just to coordinate with it. So these, these are sort of stripes with a difference. Just the, you get the four for 12 98 that's nice, it's almost as if it's hand painted. It really is a stripe with a difference. His brush strokes. Very nice. Again, a nice weight of cotton. Perfect for if you wanted to do them in for borders, and that you could have a stripe. Just cut out that one stripe there, and you've got a beautiful border. But we also have a simple stripe. So this is similar, but this time the stripe's not broken. So again, this is just a nice, again, it looks as if somebody just painted it with a brush. This is part of this collection of four. Unleashed. It is, it's unleashed painting. 
And then we have this sort of spotty one, but again, it's a spot with a difference. So this is, looks like paint pots. It looks like somebody's just sort of got a potato almost and blobbed. It's like potato printing. Do you remember that? That's what we used to do back in the day before we had clever blocks. Did you do it yesterday, did you? Edit? <laughs> but a really nice little print. And again, it's one that you can cut out small. I quite like the idea of something like this to make self-covered buttons as well. I think they just look, would look different. There's always something different you can make with these. And then just a team with all of that, we have the plain pink. And that will just team with all of those. I'm going to put that one in between like that. Very nice, £12.98 for that. I'm going to take two fat quarters home. So uh, this has been written by an absolute expert. She's brilliant. She really is fantastic. <laughs> Even if she does say so herself. <laughs> so this is one of the two take, fat, take two fat quarter books that I wrote and was published actually last year. Um, you, don't, you don't like it. You shall at least OK, thanks for that. <laughs> how to build my confidence. So you've got 16 projects in here <laughs> and you have full, a full size template sheet in the back, which is really good. I mean, um, this means that you don't have to trace things off. It's only printed on one side, um, so it's nice and easy to use. And there are all these different projects, 16 different projects, and these are for the home. So lots of things like a, a drink carrier, a little apron. This could be a gardener's apron or it could, could be a craft apron as well, in fact. And this one is one of my favourites, the cable tidy roll. My niece, Amy, had one of these that she'd bought to keep all of her cables tidy, so I made it. Um, but it is very organised and it's great because there's nothing worse. When you go somewhere, why do cables tangle? They always do. So this is a way of keeping them untangled and it has a detachable little purse. Nice little drum case for knitting needles and things, a little duffel bag, but it's only little. Or if you want to cover a nice bag and make a craft bag, a basket, craft basket there with your bits in. So lots of little projects, and whilst you're making them, you'll learn new techniques as well. So little fabric slippers. Now this is something I use all the time. This is a tablet rest or a phone rest, there's two. Um, and it's just, I just find it really useful, particularly with all these Zoom calls we've made of late and FaceTimes and WhatsApp. It's really nice to just prop your phone or your tablet up. This is a coiled fabric bowl. So this, you do this on the sewing machine, just wrapping fabric around um, washing line and sew it together. This was just using, this one is just to use up little fabric pieces and do something a bit different. So a bit of free motion, a bit of patchwork. The whole point of these books are they are for fat quarters. So they are for you to make fat quarter projects. Oven gloves, table mats. This is one of my favourites. I teach this as a class in itself purely because I love to use sewing machines features. And this is using all the different stitches. So you can use lots of stitches, twin needles, up to you which ones you use. You could use Tula Pink fabrics, you could use Cave Facet fabrics. So on the back of it, I just did a little patchwork, little coffee cosy. And then of course, as with all the books here, like from Search Press, the front has got lots of tips on how to do various techniques that you'll find useful in the book. All the little tips and techniques and I'm always very passionate about getting people to use I was saying about um, little pinwheel triangles you can see here they're very easy to put together using squares to start with even for an absolute beginner buttonholes really important to do because I mean people avoid them because they're worried that they're not going to do it right if you've got a modern machine with a buttonhole foot they're a breeze when you know how. So that is 9 99 There is another one as well on the website, which is the same take two fat quarters 
but gifts. But let's look at a few more fabrics. Now we do have this super little roll, this little fabric roll. I'd like to say here's one I made earlier, but I'm leaving that one neatly in there so I can get this one out, which is, which is in a bit of a higgledy-piggledy. Now we are limited on this one, but it has got some really cute prints on it. You get 20 pieces, so 20 strips, two and a half inches wide from across the width of fabric. So if I just open one up, that's the width. So if I go, that's the width of it. So across the width of fabric there, so you get selvage at each end, which is quite typical of a fabric roll. And then we have here, it looks like we've got three of each of the prints. So it's really cute. I think it's the same print. Well, very, it's USA American inspired print. Some have, some have got two, some have got three. Really lovely. So it's the same little print, but in different colorways. Very sweet, 14 99 for how many pieces did you say? 20. 20 pieces in there for 14 99 So again, really nice, quick thing to make. Put, just stitch them together very quickly and you've got a lovely design which you can then use as fabric to make into a quilt top or a bag or anything like that. Now we also have five pack fat quarter pack. Now we've got a few of these. We've got planes and we've got prints. Ah, oh, only one for, hold on, let me have a look. This one, was that, no, that's three. Oh no, that's more. Oh, I'm trying to find one with five. Is it this one? That's only four. This one? Yay! All these lovely fabrics in front of me. This fabric I'm wearing, by the way, was one I bought from Sewing Street. And I made it into a butterick dress um, to go to Festival of Quilts in. So what we have here, Festival of Quilts, yeah, it was brilliant. So these are more autumnal colours here. So you get the five in the pack. So $17.99 for all five of these fat quarters. These are sort of craft weight cottons. Nice quality. So it's nice little print here. So it's easy to cut into smaller pieces, but this is a fat quarter. So you get five fat quarters for $17.99. So that's one. And then we have this one here that goes with it. Now this one's in two colorways. I'm trying to think what that little thing is. I'm just going to put my glasses on so else I can have a look. Oh, I think it's just a little flower. Oh yes, there are the helicopters. Helicopters from, is it oak tree? What tree is it from? I think it is a flower. It's a flower with, it's just different. This almost looks like mistletoe in between. Somebody out there will know what that is. So that is the um, rusty red colour. And then we have the same design, but this time in this soft sage green. It's sort of quite a medium weight cotton. It's a nice feel to it. So again, we've got the same little design. And it's go, is it going in different directions? Or is there a right and wrong way up? I would like to check. This is lovely. The little flowery things go upwards or downwards, depending on which way they're supposed to be. Very pretty colours, sort of sage green with pink. But they go very well with our next one, which is this brown base. And again, you've got this lovely flower on it. So that does go so beautifully with that one, with that one, with that one. And don't forget, you're just paying the one PMP for the day. And then the last one of this little collection is on a black base. Okay. 
<laughs> is this one? How many is in this one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, it must be this one. So look, so we've got the different, I'd say pinks, but we start with pinks and then purple and then blues and then with lovely mustard yellow. So that's what we're getting in this bundle for 13.96. You get the whole lot of these for 13.96. Just lovely, plain fabrics to team up with some of these other prints that we've been looking at. If I bring back the Tula Pink smaller bundle, you can see how that bundle there would go beautifully with this bundle here. So this is a really useful bundle to have, to have some planes to team with the bold prints. Fat quarters, great, great for all sorts of little projects, for linings, for sashing in between quilts for borders and edging. This does actually mean that each fat quarter in this bundle is less than £1.75. So that is very good. We've got lots of new buyers coming in for this. This is a lovely little fat quarter bundle with lots of colours there. You have colour that you one colour that you need. We haven't got greens in there but we've got the blues, the purples, pink and yellow. Look at that. Really lovely. Very good for your stash. We are now going to go to... Oh, the spots. This one. This is the spots. It's called pastel spots. See how beautiful they are. Again, these are just so lovely to have. Have these in your stash. Use them for in between things, for sashing, for borders, for pockets, for linings. Really lovely. Look at those colours there. They all go together and again they'll go with the colours we had earlier. So another one to have in your stash, fourteen ninety nine, and you get an eight fat quarters but the spots this time. So these are good for all sorts of things. One of the projects I made in gifts is a teddy bear out of two different fat quarters. There is a lot in our baskets for this one and we are limited on what these are. So please do, over half the stock is in baskets. So if you do want this, please do check out to make sure you get it. We have two more. Should we go to the pinks? So it's more pinks here. Ah, Paul said this has come in at an early bird price. So effectively you're getting one fat quarter for free. And here we have these are lovely colours. You'll be surprised to know that I like these pink colours. £10.46, so effectively you're getting one for free. So you're paying for six and you're getting the seventh for free. £10.46 for all seven of these. Just beautiful colours. I mean, just working them together it would look lovely, but they make, these, these I think are always really good for linings, borders. Just to, and sometimes when you've got these beautiful prints by Tula Pink or K Facet, you can separate the prints by using a plane in between. Keeps the cost down a bit because obviously they're cheaper, but also it makes the prints really stand out boldly. Absolutely lovely. But don't stop there because we do have one more bundle. Now this one is called Sunburst. It's just four, so it's four beautiful prints, but they're not plain plain, they're not all plain. So you've got a plain yellow and a plain orange. I mean, just look how glorious they look together, really clashy. But these two reds have got a sort of self pattern, like a marbling on them. Not sure how clear it is on the front, but it is clear when you see it up close. 
if I just flick it over, you can see what it looks like on the reverse. So you can see the marbling it has. That's really pretty. So that's a really scarlet red. And as well as the scarlet red, we have, let's fold that one up, we have this deeper red, more ruby. And again, it's got that marbling effect. Now this is just £7.49p and you're getting four. So again, under £2 each. Nice quality cotton. And that little bit of self-pattern on there just makes it different from being completely plain. Really useful to have. I mean, all of these little fat quarters are lovely. All these plain packs. We have in the past bought a big bundle of sort of all of these different colours, but we can't always get them all. You notice we haven't got any greens in this today. That's because they're hard to get. So we're going to do the last book here. Now again, this book is written by me. So I know about this one. So I mentioned just now that the, um, this book here has the teddy, so it's actually showing it on the front here. This is a teddy. Um, so it's, it's, you know, you can make it as a toy or you can make it just to sit on the shelf. Um, you could also put weight in it to make it as a doorstop. Patterns again, so you've got the pattern in here, printed on both sides this time. Oh no, is it printed on both sides? Let's have a quick look. I know, I know it's my pattern. It is printed on both sides, so you might have to trace off. <laughs> I should know, but I use the originals, you see, rather than these ones. So you've got two pattern sheets in there because there's lots to go, lots in the book. And again, it starts off with the techniques and tools just to make you sort of aware of all the things that you need to be able to do. Different types of patchwork, different types of applique, free motion, creative stitches. So that's all very much the same as the other one. But then you go into the projects. So these are gifts. So again, it's just using two fat quarters each time and mixing some techniques just to expand your repertoire. This was actually a very simple cosmetic pouch and um, brush roll that I made for a charity. So I've popped them into the book, very quick and easy to make. They're great gifts, they really are quick. You can make this sort of little thing here, 20, 25 minutes. So it's a great gift, self-covered button. I've used it for makeup because that was a charity I made it for, uh, feel good, look good. But you can, of course, use it as a craft pouch. It's just like a little storage basket, really. And then a brush roll, which again, you could use for haberdashery. Little summer shorts. So the patterns in there, these are little toddler's shorts. And also um, there's a scissor keep. There's also a little toddler dress. So these are just nice little things you can make as gifts. Any of the fat quarters that we've got, tablet cover. And this is a bag here. So if you fancy doing uh, metal frame bags, this tells you, this is a project here, but it also tells you how to make your own pattern. And on this one, I've included a, a zip, letterbox zip on the inside. So lots of techniques again. Flying geese, just throw in a bit of patchwork there. Make a nice little lunch bag. Little dress, for again, for a little tot. This is out of just fat quarters. And then we have crackers, pencil case, Christmas crackers, and then my teddy. I like my teddy. And that was just using two fat quarters. So anything, you know, any fat quarters you can use for that. Nice, simple pattern. And a Christmas stocking. And I love adding things like these like rosette flowers or Suffolk puffs just to finish things off. This is just using fat quarters. Lots of projects, full size patterns. So lots for you to look at and see. All written by my fair hand. So. You can get both this one and the Holmes ones because they kind of go together. Now, I'm going to recap quickly. The most popular fabric that we have today is 
K-facet prism, that's this one, isn't it? That's this one, the K-facet prism. Let's just remind you of this. I say it's the most popular so far, this is. This is these beautiful, beautiful prints. The fans, it's the lovely colours, isn't it, with this? So a lot of the same patterns as the other two packs, but in these glorious colours. I love this. I just want my. It's got to be my favourite. I love it in the bright colours, but I like it in the self colours. Imagine these as buttons. Just that bit. I've got to think about buttons. And you could definitely applique some of these flowers. Geodes again. I mean, they're not geodes, but that's what I call them. I've done applique with these patterns on the back of a denim jacket and an embellisher machine. OK, we're going to flip on to the next one quickly. So don't forget this one, which is the prism. Ocean, which is the blooms. Now, if everybody checks out what's in the baskets, this is the most popular one. There, so it just goes from one to the other. But again, it's the same prints, but in these beautiful blues and greens. This one's a bit scrunched up. So it's lovely colours. Look at that one, the kaleidoscopy one, zigzag, cross, spot, but all a bit different. I love that one. That is so beautiful. Three of those ones. Fans. A print again. Look at the colours on that. So this is the second of the t uh, three K facet bundles. But don't forget, we also have the other one, which is in the beautiful beautiful orange colours, oranges and yellows. It's called parakeets, this one. Lovely colours again. Really beautiful. So it's sort of oranges, pinks and yellows is the base. They all work well together as well. 44.99. Yeah. Now we're going to leave that with you, but after the break, we have Fiona from So Girl. She's coming to show us more about the Frida dress. It has been on pre-order and been very, very popular. And uh, she will be joining us and she'll be going a few little bits of how to make it. Obviously not the whole dress, but some of the techniques that are used in it. And we have some lovely fabric bundles to go with that. So we'll see you back here in just a few minutes. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being 
Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hello, my name is Fiona Hisford, also known as So Girl. I'm based in Worthing on the south coast of England and I work in my lovely garden studio, which is where I am right now. So uh, my sewing journey began as a child. Uh, my mother used to surround the house with Laura Ashley fabrics and wallpapers and I used to patch together some of the scraps and uh, make little quilts for myself and uh, dolls clothes and things like that. So one of my top tips in dressmaking would be to definitely make a toile before you start. Uh, sometimes uh, if you're using expensive fabric, it's a good idea to make, some, make the garments in a sheet or a cheap fabric, just so that you're absolutely sure of the fit. An interesting fact about me is that I used to be a knitwear designer back in the 80s. And once I made a jumper for the singer Sade, which was really exciting. Uh, I worked in Paris for six years and when I came back I fell back in love with fabric again and I started working with magazines and books and writing projects for them and that led eventually on to me designing my own collection of dressmaking patterns. Uh, my philosophy is that I love comfortable clothing every day, things that are easy to make, easy to wear. I like modelling my clothes myself and I wear pretty much everything that I design. So I always think that if I feel good in them, then other people will. I've been working for Sewing Street since it's been, since, almost since it began and I love it there. We're like one big family and I'm on the show about every two, mo two months and so I look forward to seeing you on the next show soon. Bye. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Welcome back. So I'm now surrounded by beautiful dressmaking fabrics and with the dress behind me here. But we're going to start, so Fiona's here just setting up there, but what we're going to start with is the pattern for this dress. This is the Frida dress. It's been really popular on pre-order. Now this dress is um, designed in for advanced beginners. It's 17.99. It's sizes 8 to 22. This is brand new today, this one. Brand new today. It is, yes. It is, yes. Yeah. So it's lovely, it's isn't it? Exclusive, except for, obviously, I tell it myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's exclusive. It's off. Oh, so Fiona's going to be mic'd up in just a second. <laughs> it's technical difficulties, live TV. 
So, um, so what we've got here is an exclusive to Sewing Street, apart from obviously the fact it's on Sew Girl's website. But what I love about Fiona's clothes is actually what she does is she gives you other hacks of it. Not a word I particularly like, but it's one that's trendy. So you can actually make variations easily and she has a blog and she shows you how to do things so without opening up the pack I've got some of the components from the inside so this is the pattern on the back of the pattern envelope you do have the really useful information that you need to know so what you have here is you have a top and then you have two lengths of dress you also have the sizes, so you can see the little illustrations. The little illustrations are really useful because they really show you the detail. There are no zips with this, which makes it easier to make. It is for advanced beginners. Just need a little bit of technique to do things like the neckline, the ties and the gathering, but nothing you can't have a go at. And then you have the sizes. Now don't think if you're a size eight in the shops, you'll be a size eight pattern. You may not be. So check your measurements and go by those. So on this, a bust 32 got up to a bust 46. So it's a really lovely, nice, wide, wide um, size range. You've also got the finished garment measurements. Now these are really useful to look at as well because what this tells you is how loose or tight a garment should be. So again, if I'm looking at this, the finished bust size for the bust size of 32 is 37 and 3 quarter inches. So in other words, you have got 5 and 3 quarter inches of ease movement. So it's a nice roomy, roomy dress, nice easy to wear, great for the summer has your fabric requirements so you know exactly how much fabric to buy so for the maxi dress here 3.3 meters will do the largest size of the maxi dress the dress now is the, is the max is this the maxi or is that the maxi the blues are maxi, blues are maxi yeah. and the one behind me is the dress it's size the dress. Yes, which is and for one. that <coughs> you've got 3.4 meters or 2.8 depending on the width of the fabric now, inside the pattern, this is what I also love, you've got paper pattern sheet. So the sheet in the inside, I'm not taking those off because I'm being vain, I promise you. I'm taking them off because they're different glasses. So what we have here is a pattern sheet and it is printed in the different sizes, different types of line for each of the sizes you're going to cut out and it's on paper. So you can use this again and again and again. So it's really nice, very, very clear. Um, on what to do. You also have a very nice, easy to use little booklet with your construction. So you've got your cutting guideline, the layouts to lay the fabric, lay the pattern on the fabric and how to cut it. And then your very clear step by step instructions, all clearly illustrated. You will need a few other things as well as the pattern. So the pattern is 17.99. Obviously you're going to need your fabric. And we have got a few fabrics here already. We have some bundles. So the bundles of fabric we have here are three and a half meters each. Which one are you working with, this one? This is the one that Fiona is going to be working with. It's a very lightweight, it's viscose. So it's very floaty, very, very floaty. And three and a half meters. Because you were saying earlier, Fiona, weren't you, that you'd probably, if you were working with something really lightweight like this, go for the sort of larger, looser size, floaty. I would size it up, yes. If yes. If it was quite lightweight, floaty fabric, I think it might look better just being having a little bit more fabric. Just so they can so float around, so about. comfortable to wear. Yeah. So that's, that's our first one. So 47.99 is for three and a half metres of these really beautiful colours. Now this one I think has got to be my favourite or second favourite one. Again, mm. this is a very lightweight, floaty fabric, three and a half metres. It is again is viscose, so it's very floaty. And again, as Fiona's saying, if you kind of size up a bit, make it mm. looser, because it's supposed to be loose, but make it looser and it will really just float around you and keep you lovely and cool. That's really lovely. So it's three and a half metres, that's 47. 99. My other favourite is this beautiful one here. Again, very light. That's gorgeous. It's isn't it? gorgeous, gorgeous, isn't it? I love that print. I can imagine this dress in, in that. It would look beautiful. Very, very floaty. 
when you're cutting it out, I advise just to put a cloth underneath, just to yes. stop it sliding about. Yes, just but don't cut the cloth. <laughs> don't cut the cloth. <laughs> Another thing you can do with floaty fabrics, of course, is uh, spray best press on them, give them a little bit of starch, yes. and which yes. helps them. Pin frequently, and if it's very, very slippy, cut from a single layer. I so use a three fine and a half well. metres, you use a... I use a finer thread yes. for those kind of fabrics. And needle. Use and a needle, seven, a 70 needle. Yes, and a fine thread. So three and a half metres, let me have a look here. I don't know what the width of that is, but you should three and a half meters or 3.4, 3.5 take that gets you the dress definitely. And uh, the maxi dress, um, if it's narrower fabric, you do need more. But if it's if it's the uh, 140 centimeter yeah. wide, <coughs> then 3.2 meters does it for you. I think it is quite wide that fabric. Isn't it, it is. It? I think isn't it's it? about 140. Yeah. Now we also have this one here. Now this is slightly heavier. So again, it's a beautiful fabric to work with. What is, is this? This is viscose lawn. So it's slightly different, slightly sort of heavier weight. So make your size in this one. But it's really lovely. It's very similar to the one we've got really, isn't it? That was an African wax print you said. That is, you? yes, just a cotton, a lightweight cotton. Well, it's a medium weight cotton really. Mm. So these, this is really, really beautiful, 47.99. Um, now we also have this like blue. This is the most popular on pre-order. This is a Rosen Hubble print. So it's a sort of a crisper cotton. So again, it would make, this just would make in so many different fabrics, mm. wouldn't it? I think that's a poplin, isn't it? That yes, one? I think mm. so. Cotton poplin, we think this is. 23.99 for three and a half meters. So that is an incredible price for that fabric and it's beautiful. I love this fact it's a lot of denim-y colour. That's really beautiful. And talking of denim, we do actually have some denim. So again, there's dark blue. Oh, let me look at the code for this one. It's, it's got two codes, uh, J54 or 6684. So this is a nice denim. It's quite. A, it's um, medium weight, would you say? Lightweight. It's that's a light. It's uh, a lightweight like chambray almost, yes, isn't it? It is. This is. A, so it's a nice denim. Again, this would make this dress if you prefer plain. That's make it in the plain. That that's what one. we we've yes. got one um, behind us on the set here, which is in this, but it's in a lighter colour. But that's the same fabric. So to, yes, that one. That's the one. So that is in the lighter colour. The only I've only got one denim blue here. Ah, oh, so by the half meter. So if you want just a half meter, if you're not thinking of making this dress and you want the half meter of this, there's only three pieces of this left. So there's only a meter and a half left. So this is 349 for the half meter. The other fabrics come in half metres too, but just go on the website and have a look. And we've also, of course, we've got all of the haberdashery pieces that you might need. They're on the website, so do have a look. But without further ado, let's go over to Fiona and I'm going to perch while you I'm tell us more. I'm perching as well today. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> lovely to be here and lovely to see you, Wendy. It's great that you're um, here. I'm enjoying this. Yes, yes. It's always nice to get together, isn't it? It is. We just love our dressmaking, don't we? So we have a good natter about that <laughs> before the show. <laughs> um, I was just going to point out about the interfacing as well, because I think we've got a choice of interfacings and the soft one is really good for the, um, the viscoses. Uh, I think if you use a medium weight interfacing, I think that might be a little bit too stiff. Yeah. Certainly fine for cotton, but for the viscose, definitely use this soft and light white one. So I think I just want to say about that. Um, now, so where I'm going to start is I'm going to show you about the facing part. So I've actually done a video of this, which I've linked on to my blog. So it, I mean, as well as this program, you know, you can find it there. Um, and I've also today brought in um, a sleeveless version, which is on the blog as well. And there's a few little things that I did 
to um, you know make the hole the armhole a little bit less open so you can see all the things I did to make that on the blog so and uh, you know if you've got the, my hat pattern why not make a hat to go with it you know I, I love the idea of the sleeveless version yes for, for the yeah. summer we're still waiting to have <laughs> well I think we've had <laughs> have we had it, it? it come gone yes I'm not sure yeah so but go. still lovely and you could I mean you could still wear that into the autumn because you've just put um a long sleeve t-shirt underneath could that's you? right yes but the actual short sleeve version has got a turn back cuff the other fabric I thought this would be nice in is jersey um, you know it's just be very nice easy yes. pattern to do in a stretch fabric so why not do you know why not have a go with that so nice and comfortable so yes yeah, so the short sleeve and of, of course you can sort of mix and match as well so you can put the short sleeve on the long dress or the maxi dress it's up to you so, um, you know, that's the whole beauty of dressmaking, really, is that you can ma mix, mix and match to suit your, uh, suit your requirements, can't you? So I'm going to show you, first of all, about the... Um, well, let's make the ties, first of all. So now you have got a choice of making either a loop, which is the one that's on the top, or some ties, which is like the one I've got. Now, you don't even have to have either, actually, if you want to just leave it open you can just have it careful, so that the careful, size careful flop, your microphone. flop back <laughs> Ooh, sorry about that um so if you do um so you could have a loop on the dress version if you wanted to you don't have to have the ties i i have to say i like the way that facing sort of rolls out a bit and yes. you have got the ties even if you're not yes. tying it up i you, like no that. or i just sort of tighten the knot and it just hangs down like that just yes. so that you know it doesn't wave around so that's quite nice like that isn't it um now the, the the ties and the loop are made in exactly the same way. Now if you've got slightly thicker fabric, I mean I've actually put these pattern pieces straight to the grain, but if you've got uh, f uh, thicker fabric you might want to put, cut them on the diagonal, just ma might make it easy to turn inside out. I do get sometimes some uh, messages saying I, I couldn't do the, the rouleau bit. <laughs> Which I think is such a shame because it's so fun to do a rouleau, isn't it, Mindy? We, we do have a rouleau loop turner. We on do the have website, a rouleau loop turner. I would recommend one of these. They're so cheap as well, and they're really, really useful little tools to have in your toolbox. But if you can't do that, just literally fold it in, in, fold the raw long edges in to the middle, and then fold it in half and stitch it down. You know, there's no, there's no hard fast rules about there, this. There are there? other ways of doing it too. There but this, this is a really useful tool, and you can see. So it's up that. If I put it up that way, it's got a little hook on the end. So you put this up through the tube you've sewn right sides together. You hook the end over the open end of the fabric, and then you pull it back through, and it turns itself through to the right way round. Useful little tool, only two pound ninety nine. There you go. That's, I think that's a really. Good Are you going to show how to do it? Well, I'm going to prove the point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got one sort of half done here because sometimes it takes a little bit of. A, but actually, I've done mine with a. I don't know if you can the camera can see, but with a, a soft, a blunt edged needle, and with a very large eye, and I've tied the long thread ends at one end through the, the needle and then I've threaded the needle through the loop, through the channel, the tube, and then out the other end. So this is just another way of, you know, if you haven't got a loop turner, you know, you can use just a, a, yes. a, a chunky needle if you've got one. And um, I've threaded it through and then you see, you pull it gently and to ease it through. And I mean, it is the most satisfying thing in the whole world. When it comes out the other end. It's just a joy. Yeah, I sometimes <laughs> use like a, a string and anchor it at the top end yes, and then and pull on it that. in. That's yeah. right. And so then, then, pull it, and then that's you can right. just cut that off. But you look at how lovely those little shoe string, shoe string or spaghetti straps are. Now, particularly for the loop, I would say that it's nice to have it nice and you know fine. So. Uh, you're, if you sew it according to the pattern and you turn it inside out, you should get a loop that's about a quarter of an inch wide like that. Um, but the ties are slightly bigger, they're about a centimetre wide. So uh, there's my ties. I think I had another one somewhere, but I think I probably lost it already. <laughs> no, there it is. And um, so we put those to one side for the moment and our little loop. And we'll move over to our front. This fabric is beautiful, isn't it? It's so floaty and airy. It's so lovely. Um, 
and also this print has got a direction so bear in mind that you know because actually I cut my front upside down and I thought do you know what this print could go either way but I did go back and cut another piece and oh, I thought I've no my flowers are going up there <laughs> I've so, cut a whole dress out and shown my son and said, should the flowers go this way or this way? And then had to recut it. Yeah. But fortunately, I always buy plenty of fabric. Yes. So, so um, it, it's a gorgeous, it's a very all a Kylie sort of type of print, which is one something I really love. Now, uh, we've got some, some darts on the um, front. So um, now on the pattern, you actually have two lines for each dart. The outer line is the cutting line. So it has a little cut edge. And then the inner line is the stitch line, and it's all marked clearly on the on the on the um, pattern. But if you get a bit confused about that, go to my blog because it is very. I've drawn a line. It's a good idea to get a, a coloured pen pen and just draw the lines mm. for your size, and then you can see them really clearly. But one is the outside cut line, and one is the inner um, stitch line. So just bear that in mind. Mm. Just opening up the pattern to see whether I can I'm not, see that. I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure that you've got, got that, got that bit. Have, have you got that particular one there? I don't think so. I think I've got the oh, sleeves right. on here. So I said it's a different way of doing a pattern, isn't it? Doing a, a dart. Yes, but I mean, it if makes you don't it easier. The, if you I think. don't, well, I think so. But if you don't want the cut line, you can just literally go straight down, ignore it, and just just focus on the stitch line. You know, that's that's all really you need to know. Now um, I'm going to pop my, I've marked out my dart position, so you can see it's a little triangle on the back of the fabric. So I've marched out, marked out my stitch line and what I did is sliced my dart down the middle and fold it open and then I can literally mark it onto the pattern that way. So it's much easier with paper because you can literally slice it, fold it over and then just mark it out and then do the other side and then pop a pin in through your dart line so it's sort of matching each side and then we're going to sew that on the machine. I'm a bit croaky today, sorry. I, oh yes, I am too. I've been croaky all week. I, I was at a festival of quilts all week and was talking to people. Talking Real non stop. People. Real <laughs> people. It's so lovely. Um, so yes, I'm a bit croaky. Real people. What were they I like? Know. They were wonderful. <laughs> Everybody was so happy to be there. Yes. I saw some, some Sewing Street fans, so that was really nice to meet them in person. Some Sewing Street fans are yes. oh, great. Yes. They're, They're the so best good. kind, aren't they? Absolutely. <laughs> I actually went to a festival the other day. Did you? What, a music never, festival? Yeah, I actually never saw so many people smiling in one place. It was just <laughs> a bit weird after a while. <laughs> so I'm going to do a, a, a back stitch at the beginning of the, uh, the, the wider end of the dart. And then when I come down to the point of the dart, I'm running my stitches off and then I leave a thread end, my thread ends. So, and you just want to have enough so that you can tie them together. And sometimes they get a little bit twisted. So if you untwist them and then just tie them together so that they, there's no there's no puckering there at the at the tip end there we go and then you can just trim that off trim off your ends and so there's your dart so that's nice and easy and then we press that i'm going to come back to that in a minute press your dart downwards as you can see i've done that on the other side pressed it already downwards let's just trim off those ends there now also what I've done is I have stay stitched around the neck edge which is a line of stitching that goes around the uh, raw edge of the neck and it just because this is uh, actually cut on, on a, uh, cut on the curve it, it, it stops it from stretching too much so um, and it's within the seam allowance so you don't want it you only want it about half a centimeter away from the edge of the neckline. Now I'm going to move over to the facing now and I'm going to show you this bit and this is the bit that I've actually done a little video tutorial of. I don't know whether, am I in camera there? And now on the pattern, I'm just going to bring the pattern in. So this is the front facing and let's just move it in and you can see here you've got a centre line here 
with a little V on the end and then a dotted line either side and you can see it's marked very clearly that that's the stitch line and the centre straight line is the cutting line. So what we want to do is to transfer those markings to our facing. So we get a, a ruler and we find the, you know, you can mark the centre point at the top and you mark, you can measure it if you want to from the pattern and then just draw your centre cutting line like so and then mine is a quarter of an inch away so I'm going to do a line a quarter of an inch probably a bit better on a, on a hard surface yes. this is great I do just want to say uh, hello Michelle who I saw and had a photo with at festival which was really nice it was lovely to meet you Michelle and uh, I'm glad you're watching today can I just say a hello to my friends in Australia? Oh, are they watching? Maria, she's my, she's my, so I call her my So Girl super fan. Because <laughs> she's followed me for, for years and she's so lovely. And Maria, hello. Yes, hello, <laughs> hello to you. I hope you're watching. Maybe you watch yes. on Catch Up, I She said that she was going to be watching with her Australian friends. So. Yeah. So we're, what, what it is, is a long rectangle of stitch line that goes down the side of the cutting line across the bottom and up and you've got your small little V at the bottom here which I've just marking in so now I'm going to get back my, my front now I'm working a little bit differently with this facing today just because it's easier for the camera in the sense that I'm sewing my front facing on my front my back facing on my back and then I'm joining the shoulder seams now in the pattern, it's you're joining the facings together and then attaching it to the front, to the to the body, <coughs> to the bodice. So it's just slightly different, and it just makes it easier for me with the camera. So, <coughs> so here I'm going to pin it um, at one side and the other, and make sure that your centre line, oops, pins. I knew I'd forgotten something. Bear with me while I rummage around <laughs> for my pins. Here's one I made earlier. That looks like that's um, the wax print fabric too. Did you get any? There's usually some there. I think I might need a few more, but never mind. I think I'll manage with what I've got. So, and then the centre point, we line up to the centre of the facing. Now, sometimes the, f the um, so just make sure that you've located your centre point. I think I might have put a marker on mine, did I? If I haven't, then I'll just fold it in half and find it. There we go. And then we pin that there. And then we're going to pin it all the way around the front edge. For some reason it's slightly longer than... So we've just put the graphics for the pattern back in. It's really popular today and it is brand new today. This is a lovely floaty dress to wear. And you can wear it, you can make it in all sorts of different fabrics which we've shown. So we've got some here that you can use. So they're really floaty fabrics or you've got, um, Fiona's used the wax cotton print behind me and you've got a cotton fabric on. So there's lots of different fabric choices you can use for this pattern. So you've pinned your facing on. Pinned my facing on and I'm just going to pin it so that it's straight here. Doesn't have a wibble wobble when you sew. That's right. Now you could do some like rough tacking there, sort of hand tack it on if you wanted to. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to just sew around the neckline now. So we've got a one centimetre seam allowance. Does, uh, so in your patterns, does it say that? One yes, centimetre seam does, allowance? Yes, yes. Right, so bit of a mess under here. Okay, so I'm going to do a little back stitch at the top and then all the way around. And, and this is exactly the same for the, for the top as well as the dress. So it's, it's at this stage, they're all the same. 
Uh, and the instructions are in. Sorry? They're in your little booklet that comes with this. I'm just looking That's at That's right, yeah. Yes. It's all nice and clear. I like the way that you, you've got these lovely instructions in the booklet, but you also have like a video. So whatever kind of learner you are, whether you're visual or you read, you've got you've got it covered. Yes, sort of thing. people really respond well to film, which is why I think these demonstrations on Sewing Street are really good. Because yes. I, I think it really, you know, really helps people, doesn't it, to sort of see it in the flesh. So that's the bit we're doing at the moment. And as Fiona that's said, right. normally you'd be putting the facing on the whole neckline, but you're just doing this for demonstration. You do it all in one piece yes. with the front and the back, but it just makes it easy for me. Right, so I've sewn, I've just sewn around the neckline. So we're taking this in stages. And let me just pop that pin back in. This is being a bit naughty. <laughs> That's the thing about working with slippery fabrics, isn't it? Yes. Pin frequently. I think if you're a sort of a slight more beginner, I think maybe I would go for something like the lawn, the, the yes. cotton. Cotton is a little bit easier to work with. But this one or this one. Yes, yes. Something a little bit heavier. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sew down the stitch line that I've marked. So it's down the side of my cutting line, across the bottom and up the other side. So see you in a minute. Catching me up with a quick slurp of coffee there. Now you don't have to do the back stitch at the top because it's in the seam allowance. So now when you get to the corner, just go carefully. So if you've got a drop down needle button, you can just, um, just take one stitch at a time or go slowly and then we're going to drop the needle down in the corner lift it up turn it round and then we haven't got very far to go so I can just literally do one stitch at a time or slow your speed down you don't want to overshoot if you do overshoot don't worry just pick it up where you need to and then you can unpick your stitches afterwards so it's not all is not lost I just adjust my chair. I know it's not the most comfortable sitting <laughs> the sewing position, is it? Now this is probably the most tricky bit of the pattern. So you know, if you think, oh, that's all right, then you'd be absolutely fine with the rest of it. It's very useful technique to learn as well, though, because it's sort of used in all sorts of it is, different yes. patterns, isn't it? So once you've learned it, you can use it again and again. That's right. So then when you've done that, you can just take your pins out because it's all stitched in. You don't need those anymore. And we're going to slice it down the middle. Now you have to take a deep breath when you do this. <laughs> because it's and get a good pair of sharp scissors. Yeah. I wouldn't use really, really big ones. I'd use sort of either medium ones. And you can get your little scissors out when you do the bottom bit. But anyway, I'm going to just work with these ones. And so you're slicing down the middle. And then you get to the point before the V. And then your V goes into each corner. So you're literally nicking down. Now be careful you don't cut your stitching because that really wouldn't yourself. be very good. <laughs> and slice the other. So you're literally cutting into those corners to allow it to sort of to, to fit, you know, if you don't slice into those corners, it will pucker and you want it to be nice yes. and flat, don't you? Yeah, sort of slice close to, but not through stitching. Exactly. Now, we're going to bring in our lovely ties now. So here we are, here they, we've, this is what we've made earlier on. So we've got our two ties. Now, if you've got the one loop, you're just literally going to, now I always put it in the wrong side. And I think in my video tutorial, I've put it in the wrong side, so just ignore that bit. Um, but you want to put it into the left-hand side if, you, if you've got the loop, and obviously the ties just go in either side. Now we want to get ourselves a nice sharp stitch ripper. Oh, we've got one of those on the on the um, website as well. So. Because they do blunt. I know you get one with your sewing machine, but they do blunt. Yes, and when they're nice and sharp, they're a pleasure to use. Now, this bit, you have to be quite careful. What you're going to do is just slice one little stitch and then undo the stitching at that top. So, there we go. So you'll just, so it's at the very, you, what you, your tie needs to bank right up to the seam line of the top edge of the neck. So just, just a couple of stitches down, 
just undo the stitch and then just literally undo them. Don't, don't stitch rip anymore, just un literally pull them away. And you only need about two or three. So we've got now, about 20 minutes left, Fiona. Okay, so now this is quite a good tool for getting your tie through your loop turner, but if you haven't got one of those, you could always put a safety pin on the end and push it through. Um, so we're going to just push it through the hole like that, and it, it's in between the facing and the, the, the neck and the body, the bodice, and we hook it on to the tie, close the latch and pull it through. Ta -da! And then we do the same with the other side. Now you could, you could, if you want to, do it the other way. So you push it through there, but you have to have the closed end of the tie. So you're going backwards. So it doesn't matter really which way you go, it's just whatever. There we are. So you can have a little bit sticking out like that because we can trim them off afterwards. And then we'll just put another pin back in just to hold it secure. Now, if you have the loop, you will be putting them in like so. So you'll, be, so you'll have two little raw ends sticking out like that. And if that's the case, then put a pin in, turn it the right way, try it through your button and see if it fits okay. And then you can, and then if it's fine, then you, you can uh, carry on. But if not, you can adjust it, can't you, before you've stitched it. So we've pinned that in. And now we're going to stitch it. So we're going to re-stitch the stitches that we've undone. So if we start in the seam allowance and just drop your needle down so it's ma matching the previous stitches and then just stitch it and then you can just literally stitch over the stitches that you've just done a little bit further down just to make it nice and secure and the other way too so I'm going to take my pin out there And then I might just do a little bit round there as well. To strengthen that corner. Strengthen the corner. Oops, I was keep looking for the um, the thread cutter, but it doesn't have one this one, this, this machine. So um, now we're going to trim off our ends, tidy up a bit, and there we go. And then we're going to trim off the end of our tie. We don't need those bits anymore. And then corner off your seam allowance. So obviously, again, be careful not to cut too near the corner. You don't want to cut your stitching, but you just want to cut enough so that it reduces the bulk inside when you turn it. Now, we're, we're, we're going to turn it inside out now. We're going to turn it to the right side and before we do that, we're just going to clip our seam allowance of our neckline. What if you use pinking shears around the neckline to trim it down? Would that save you doing the clipping? You can do that, but it does reduce the seam allowance down. Yes. And the thing is, that's fine. But if, say, you want to you make you you want to adjust it or something, or you make a mistake, when if you undo it, you haven't got your seam allowance anymore, no. have you? So I mean. Fair enough, you know, I, I think that's all great to use them, um, but they need to be super sharp as well. They do, yeah, when yes. you, especially when you're working with slippery fabrics. Uh, another little tip is when you're cutting out your facing is to cut a piece of fabric that's big enough for your facings, iron the interfacing onto the fabric and then cut out your facings because otherwise they're quite fiddly pieces with this slippery fabric so it makes it much easier to iron the interfacing onto the fabric first before you cut them out. So I'm just cut literally every one and a half centimetres, two centimetres, I'm just putting a little nick like that. 
So this is, this is the pattern that Fiona is working on. It's the Frida dress or top, and you've got two version, two lengths of dress and the top. In fact, and you've, you've made a third, a third version of the dress, haven't you? What you're wearing. Yes, Just and this the one's a shorter version. So it's above the knee, because the, the pattern one is, is uh, sort of calf length. And this one's above the, lee, the knee, and I've used the same, to, uh, the top tier, and I've just repeated the top tier length for the second tier. Right. So it's on the knee. So that's you know, so it's, it's a very, very simple sack. style. And I think also in winter it would be lovely in needle cord as well. Yes. So you know, I think it would be lovely in other sorts of And when fabrics. you've done the shorter length like that, you could wear it with leggings or trousers, couldn't Definitely. you? Definitely. Yes. So um, it's I size wore, is eight to I wore this top with uh, my Elsie trousers, which we're going to be talking about next in the next show, um, in the second hour, and um, th and it looks really good with that. It looks really nice with trousers. Uh, I'm just looking for a poking tool. Of course, I'm. Oh, here we are. I'm so prepared. I didn't bring it. <laughs> now uh, I'm going to. This is a moment of truth now. I'm going to turn my facing to the right side. So I want a drum roll, please, Wendy. Okay, I'll do a drum roll. <laughs> So here we are. This is this is this is the second best bit, as well as the turning the, to the tie inside out. This is the second best bit, where you turn the tie to the and out it pops, and then that is just so satisfying <laughs> to see it coming out like it that. Is, and to see the ties are coming out in yes. the right place. And yes, <laughs> just bring it down slightly. All right. Oh, sorry. That's it. Yeah. So I'm going to press that now because we've got, as you can see, you might be a bit alarmed when you turn it inside out. You think, oh, it's a little bit puckered there. But please do not fret because you just get your chesty iron and start on the back first and just ease it out. So as you're pressing, you're easing out your, you know, you could, if you've got lighter fabric, you could just steam it and just pull it so that it flattens out that pucker. You might You're find... You're almost hovering that, aren't you? Yeah. You <laughs> might find that you haven't nicked into your corners enough if you're still getting the puckering. So just turn it to the right side, inside out again, and just sn snip it a bit, a bit more. And you haven't done any understitching? Uh, you, you feel you don't need to with this? It's a little bit difficult with this facing because you've got the keyhole, but mm. you could understitch it before. That's just a neck edge. But the neck edge, yes. So just for those of you who perhaps don't know what understitching is, it's when you when you open it out and you stitch the seam allowance to the facing. So it's does it is visible on the wrong side of the garment, but it does help that facing or um, lining if you're lining a garment stay inside and not sort of creep out. So there you see. Look at it, isn't it lovely? And then just pull and press so that you get rid of those little puckers at the bottom corner. Yep. Lovely jubbly. There we are, lovely. Now. Remember with the facing, if you want to, you can go a little bit, you know, I mean, I've been quite modest here, but you can go a little bit deep if you want it a little bit lower, you know, just sew your line a yes, little bit there longer. Yes, because room, there was room on that facing room to on the go facing longer. facing for going a little bit yes. longer if you want to. Yes, I mean, you know, just leave a, a good centimetre or half at least at the bottom, just for protection. But, um, yeah, so there we are. Now, I'm going to join the front. How much time have I got left now? Uh, ten minutes. Okay. So hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit of gathering. Should I join the front to the back? Let's do a do, bit of gathering. Do the gathering, Well, I, I won't be able to if I haven't got the body, well, then you, so yes, you'll have to yes, do you that. have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know so, sometimes we do it out of sequence purely so yes. uh, we can show. I, one of my um, tutors was teaching metal frame bags at the show and couldn't get it done in an hour. So I said to her, OK, so do it differently. So stitch the lining to the main fabric around the top, turn it through, then put the metal frame on and yes. then finish the bag later, which is not the way you'd normally do it. No. But it achieves the aim of doing the teaching yes, for the metal that's frame. Right. Yes. So this is why we do it a bit odd you're, here. You're just cutting a few little corners, aren't yes. you, to make it easier for 
the experience. Right, so you're, I'm not pinning it, just, I'm just, but I would pin it definitely. And then we'll just make sure that your seam line of your shoulder seam is, is matched up. And then we're going to sew along that shoulder seam at the top edge. And it'd be good if it actually did get onto the fabric. There we go. <laughs> When you start sewing on lightweight fabric, it's also a good idea to start about a centimetre or three eighths of an inch in from yes, the edge. Yes, definitely. Forward, then back, then forward, because you can hold the thread tails. Stops it being pulled into the feed dogs. Yes, or go backwards and forwards, if it's yeah. what you said to do. Yeah. Here we are, so I've joined. And then, of course, you'd finish your raw edge. And then we're going to fold that and press that towards the back. So I'll just do the other side and then we've got the front joined to the back. I mean by all means do this method, it's, it's you know, uh, if you prefer it to the other one. I mean sometimes people write to me and say, oh you know I like to do it that way and I think well you know, that's a free world, you know, if that's what's, it's, it's what you're used to really isn't it? If you I think like so, to, and I think so. Your facings exactly. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. No. Um, there's some some steps you do need to do in the right order, but there are others. I'll often. I'll, I always read a pattern through before I start, and I will often do jump from step to step so that I can do all the ironing one go. That's right. Yes. So yes. Saves but you if, much if you're new time. to it, if you're new, then I would follow the pattern religiously, step by step. Yeah. But once you've got a bit of experience, you can say just do all the vertical seams and then you join it together, etc. That's right. Um, I, I would also recommend these tailor's hams when you're dressmaking. They're so useful. You know, even, you know, just when you're sort of ironing little bits like this, it's much easier to do it on a Yes, because you want a bit of a curve a in it, don't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially when you're ironing the darts. That's Especially fun. when you're ironing yes. the darts. If you've got curves. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hand. That's a tailor's pressing hand. Eleven ninety nine. Can't eat it, but you can iron on it. <laughs> so it's, it's a slimming vegan one. Vegan friendly. It's vegan friendly. Yeah, it's the only ham that is. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to just fold my facing to the wrong side, and then give it a good press and if you look if you don't if you don't like your facings uh, moving like that you can always put a bit of um, uh, wonder tape on yes you uh, could and iron it yes. on uh, but the other thing is um, I would do this if I had a little bit more time and that's just stitch my side shoulder seam allowance seam seams to the shoulder seam yes, so you're just attaching your facing underneath with a few hand stitches so that's my shoulder seams done. Let's just tidy up a little bit. And now I'm going to join it at the side seams. So it's the, the under, under the arm to the lower edge of the bodice. So I'm just going to, let's pop that over there so I don't have don't to keep. burn yourself. Yeah. Now, I'm, now I would recommend pinning this first, but I'm just, for saving time, I'm just going to sew it. So I like the ties left undone, I think. Yeah, it's quite cash, isn't it? <laughs> and I love the pockets. Oh, pardon? Got to have pockets. You, and it's we're, seeing, pockets. we're seeing you yes, modelling it again. Yes, I forgot to mention yes. the pockets. Yes. Love the pockets. We love the pockets. We've got about five minutes left, Fiona. I haven't put the pockets in the top because I just thought that might be just a bit... They might actually hang below. The yes, that's in, right. Yeah. So I, I've, I've left them off on the top, but definitely for the dress, add the pockets in. That's a, a really good addition. It's the same pattern. Same pattern, yeah. Very easy. You're just literally sewing them in at the sides and then sew them when you're sewing the side seams together. They all go in together at one go. So very easy. Now on the pattern with the tears, what I've... Um, a little bit off there. I think I'm sort of not really 
I'm not sewing, there's no precision sewing going on today. <laughs> We're not going to judge. I think with the gathering, you can get away with a lot, actually, can't you? Can. You can, of course you can. <laughs> so there's your bodice sewn. So we're going to attach the first tier now. So what I was going to say was that on the pattern, you've got a tier for the for the top band, and you've got so you've got two tiers basically. And for the top, you just use the A tier. For the dress, you use A tier with the dress length, uh, so it's slightly longer. And with the maxi dress, you use the even longer tier length. So it's all marked. So it's A B C and two tiers. They're not very, very gathered. I didn't really want to have it too flouncy, but if, you f if you're if you Mrs. Flouncy, you want it really kind of full, add a little bit on the length, uh, on the width, and uh, mm. you know, gather, you know, make it a little bit more gathered if you want to. Uh, but I've just fancied just keeping it, you know, because I yes. saw this as a dress to wear every day. I didn't see this as a sort of party thing or anything. Um, it's, I think it's it's almost got that, buffet dress look it has yes but in other words comfortable for when yes. you're eating but I know, is that what it is <laughs> yes. i don't really like that word buffet do you so it, i think it's it just come out like this year because we've all got weight yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, someone did say to me oh i don't think i could wear this top because it would show off my tummy and i i, I hasten to add that actually it really does hide things yes. it's very good at it's hiding long enough tummies. to hide tummies yes, yes so you know don't worry about that um now, here's the tier. So with the pattern for the tier, the best don't cut it at each length because you might want to make a longer one or, you know, later on. So just uh, fold it over and then cut that. So, yes, so you can use the longer tiers. So you can use the longer yeah. tiers if you want to. So I just, I've written on the pattern, fold back here and then cut along the, the outer line. So, you know, it's, it's very sort of all self-explanatory. And if you have an overlocker, What's brilliant about it is when you can, uh, when you overlock the top edge, I've uh, overlocked both sides. So I've, uh, I've sewn the tiers together at the side edges. You can see you've got two tiers, front, front and back, and I've stitched them together at the side. And then I finished the side edge and pressed them towards the back. And then I've overlocked or finished all the way around the top edge. Now, if you're using this fabric and you've got, you don't have an overlocker, I would definitely leave the finishing to the end so that you're zigzagging quite a few layers together. Yes. Otherwise, I think this would sort of, the zigzag, it would just chew up the fabric too much. So, um, but just leave that to the end, the finishing bit, and um, then you can do it all together. But if you've got overlocker, of course, you can use the overlock thread to pull. You don't have to do the running stitch for the gathering. You can just use uh, the, the centre th uh, running stitch that runs all the way through the overlocking. You can just pull that. Now that's something I didn't know. <gasps> Wendy! Every day is a learning day. Oh my I goodness. I did not know. I've never done I'm that. I'm so proud. <laughs> <laughs> I just say I saw Wendy something because to me you're the sewing guru. <laughs> well, this is, I mean this is the well, thing. I do know a lot. But I learned you a lot do, from you as well. Nobody knows everything. So yes, yes that's I've right. never done that. That's really good. Yes, so it, it just saves a bit of time. But if you haven't got an overlocker, what you'll do is to, to turn your stitch length to maximum and then do a line of st running stitches all the way round. And in fact, I, what I like to do is to stop at each side seam and then leave an end because it's just easier to manage one side to the other. Definitely. And in fact, on the long length, you might want to do two rows of running stitch. Two rows, yes. Because it's easier to, to pull do that. up. It is easier and it makes the gathering You've a bit straighter. got just one minute left. Is there anything you particularly want to tell us? So, um, enjoy it <laughs> one thing i would recommend i think i've got them on here is to mark your notches on the tier so you've got notches every quarter so you've got your side seams to match up you've got a center and then you should have some more that you can so you're literally only gathering and matching up each section yes and it just means that all the gathering is even all the way around so all Definitely. the four sections you can sort of gather separately. That's a, that is definitely worth knowing and doing. Yes, I and think. then you you put here we are. I've put the notches on here. Uh, I don't know if you can see them on the camera. And then you're matching up the notches 
at each so quarter. So you've marked them, because that's the other thing. If you, uh, I always cut my notches outwards, but of course, if you overlock, you then need to mark them exactly. with a marking pen. Yeah. So I use a Sharpie pen, <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend that. I would, but you've got to see it. So, I mean... And it is in the seam allowance, It's actually. in the seam allowance. So, you know, Sharpie pens are actually quite good because they are permanent. Um, so, but be careful with it. So, so you're backing an hour. I am, yes. yes. and then you're going to be looking Can't at... Can't get rid of me that soon. <laughs> <laughs> you've got this lovely dress, the pink dress you've got behind I you. I have, Betty. Betty. Yes, yes, I like, I love that one. Yes, it's a lovely summer dress. It is a very good Another lovely summer, summer, summer dress. dress. This one is all year round, but I'd say Betty is a really, is an ideal It's more summer. summery, yes. Okay, well, thank you very much, and we'll see you in an hour. Definitely. And just going to double check about this pattern. So the pattern we have here is the Frida dress. Uh, this is $17.99 and the pattern includes a top, a dress and a maxi length dress with frill tiers and different sleeve options. And you will see if you go on to Fiona's blog, you can also see some hacks of it and you can see some of the tutorial that she's shown today. We also have some lovely fabric. So we've got the fabric that she was using. You just pop that down there. So this is the fabric that Fiona was using here. This is this very soft viscose, floaty fabric. Um, this is three and a half metres for $47.99. Really lovely. Now, if you want to have something that's a little bit more stable rather than really floaty, then this one here is beautiful. This is this little print. Oh, has this sold out? Oh, there's, there's just a couple. So, $23.99 for the three and a half metres, but if everybody that's got it in their basket checks out, it's gone. So do check out if you want that. It's not yours until you've checked out. Um, we also have another of the lightweight ones here. This is, this, this is a beautiful print. This is the one that Fiona has recommended that you maybe make up a size slightly bigger, so it'd be very, very floaty. Beautiful to wear. So again, this is $47.99 for three and a half metres. And then, the other one I like, again, slightly more stable, is this one here. This is a very nice one. So it's not quite as floaty, so it's maybe a little bit easier to sew if you're a bit worried about sewing very floaty fabric. Still fine, still be very floaty, but not quite as slippy. So that's a really nice one too, $47.99. looks a bit vintage, that one. It does it? look vintage, yeah. doesn't it? That's lovely, and I love this one. So again, we're going to the sort of floaty, lightweight, viscose. This has been the most popular one. So it's very, very lightweight. This is sort of double layers. If I get to a single layer of it, you can see it's very floaty, very soft. $47.99 for the three and a half meters. And then of course we have the denim, which Fiona has used for her maxi version. So this is the denim. And of course, there's all the other bits of haberdashery that we've used for it, including little bits of elastic, buttons, etc., all on the website. So after the break, I am back with sewing tools. So I've got all sorts of different tools that you might like, um, things for your stash, things that you might not have yet and want to use, things you might need to replace, a whole load of lovely things to play with. I do love a gadget or two. So I'll see you in just a few minutes. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also a plique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, 
interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Welcome back. Look at me surrounded now by really useful tools. I do love a gadget or do. Can't have too many. We're going to start with the creative grids. This is something you'll see a lot of the demonstrators using all the time. It's something that a lot of quilters absolutely love. And the reason we love creative grids, I say that we, I'm, you know, as most people know, I'm not a quilt. I do quilt. I can quilt. I can teach it, but only basics. But I do like these. These are the creative grid rulers. I think, do I have one that's already, I'm going to grab one. It's not the right size, but I'm going to grab one because what I want to show you is what it looks like on the underside, if I can actually get to it. Well, the one I've got in front of me is the square one. <laughs> I can't get this one off here. <laughs> I'll hold in a sec. So this is the 12 by 12 square. Sorry, 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And Oh, yes, the code is UT60. OK, so that's the UT60. So this is a nice square one. And not only has it square, of course, it's got the diagonal as well. So this will be a great one to use. And you can use this like for the 10 inch squares that we were using. And the reason I've been um, scrambling behind me is what I wanted to show you. This is not the same ruler, but I wanted to show you all of these little spots. Now these little spots, these are on all of the creative grid rulers. So what you have on here are these little sort of abrasive spots, not uh, abrasive in a bad way, but in a good way, because they're the non-slip. So these make the ruler stick. So they will stick to the fabric. So that is on all of them. So I just wanted to show you what those look like, rather than unwrap these ones, because otherwise you see, these, these are the ones that we might actually be selling. So this is the one that we've got on the show at the moment, 23.99, this lovely 12 and a half inch square. Uh, the other thing you'll find on these rulers is they have a QR code, this little code thing here. Hover your phone camera over that and you will go to a little YouTube clip by the designer of this specific one and she will be showing you, or he will show you how to use it to best advantage, how to cut. So you've got your squares, you've got your diagonal there, and of course everything is graded by inch, and it's a 12 and a half inch ruler. So the half inches are in the black, 
and then the straight inches are in the white. So that's a really useful one to have. And it seems a bit crazy to have a square ruler, but honestly, they're very, very useful, particularly for beginners. The next one we have is the one that I was showing. Well, this one is already open. Look, I was showing you this has got the this is one we do use a lot. This has been on pre-order and it has been very popular. $23.99. This is 24 and a half inches by six and a half inches. So really nice. And again, it has the grippy teeth all over, not just one or two, but all over it. They're the non-stick grip, non, sorry, non-slip grip. That's quite hard to say, but it's all around the edges and it's on all these little spots as well. So this is, this is one of the unique selling features of this. And again, you have the angle. So you have a 45 degree angle there. And we also have a 30 degree angle and a 60 degree angle. So you've got different angles on this as well as, of course, the, the ruler is marked up in inch squares. So this is another one. So it's 23.99. Very, very useful, particularly if you're cutting across width of fabric. So you've got a, you need to use a large rotary cutter um, ruler, uh, mat and then you can just go all the way across width of fabric when you've got the fabric folded in half. This is the one that we recommend for beginners as well because it's a really nice, useful ruler to have. So this is the long 24 and a half by six and a half inches. Really useful. We also have, let's pop that one to one side, this one. Now this is super size. This is a square again. Oh, so this one is 20 inches, 20 and a half. Yeah, 20 and a half inches square. And again, you have the diagonal on this one. So this is a really nice big one to have. It's $49.99. Again, it has the grippy teeth on the bottom. And, and also it has the QR code here, which you can just scan with your phone. It will take you straight to a YouTube clip showing you how to use it and all the different ways that you can use it. So it's really useful. So you have the half inches and you have, so that's one and a half inches there. And that's two and a half inches and that's three and a half inches. So you see what I mean? Because you've got the half inch here. So again, you'll use this if you're going to be cutting large pieces of fabric. So it's useful to have different size rulers for the different techniques that you might be using. So a nice big square ruler. And it seems daft to have a square, but it's really useful, particularly if you're cutting out a square. Um, I know how hard it can be to actually cut an evenly squared square. So very handy to have. Nice thick ruler as well. It's special uh, ruler. These, these are acrylic rulers, so they're used with rotary cutters. If you try to use an all regular stationary ruler, you'd end up cutting the plastic potentially yourself. So very good quality and particularly unique for them is the fact they've got so much of that non-slip grip on the back. They are very popular. They're popular um, on Sewing Street, but they're also uh, they are very popular amongst quilters too. Now, this is the other one which I like. This is the Dresden plate ruler. Now, we are very limited on this. Now, this is a two-part ruler. You've got a circle in there, which is sort of the centre of the Dresden plate, and then you've got the wedges. So this is a very easy way of cutting the wedges that go around the circle. And it's a lovely pattern. It's a nice, it's a simple pattern to do when you've got the right tool to do it with. And it's something that beginners can have a go with because you've got the tool to help you cut out these beautiful wedges. And you don't have to cut this, this size. So you've got different sizes here. So you've got all these different sizes. So it's eight and a half inches. So you can have a big Dresden plate that goes all the way around here like this, or you could have a little one. And I think actually Kerry has used a little Dresden plate design, a very little one, in the middle of one of her baskets as, as a way of tempting you into this. We do have some reviews of this. So good product to make things easier, easy to use, says Caroline. I agree, I really do. It, ease of use, it just helps. You're going to do a lot of work cutting up beautiful fabrics and sewing them back together. Um, you might as well get the right tools for the job to do it, definitely. 
So really good. And again, it has the non-slip grip on the back of the, both of these, both the circular bit and the wedge bit so that it will stay nicely in place when you're using a rotary cutter to cut. If you keep this little um, paper piece on the inside, I haven't got one that's open, it's got a lot of instructions on them and it shows you how to use it. So do keep it, open it up and you'll see there's a lot of useful information. And of course, yet again, it's got the QR code that you can scan on your phone using your your uh, camera on your phone and you'll go straight to a YouTube clip which will teach you how to use it and this will be by Lynn Edwards who's the designer of this particular ruler so very very handy the right ruler for the job it's like anything it always makes the life a lot easier so we've got now we have got something again which is one of my favorite things to have funnily enough even though as I say I'm not a huge quilter but I like this cotton batting now this pack pack is a king size um, which means it's 120 inches square or 304.8 centimeters square of course you don't have to use it all in one go um, you can get it and you can use it for bags for table runners for mats for coasters as well as for quilting um, it, it maintains its loft and it's 80 percent cotton and 20 percent polyester so it is really lovely and it's really nice and easy to slow. So although it's, it's a wadding or a cotton batting, which is the same thing, um, it does have, so it has the bit of loft to it, gives the bulk to the um, project, but it's not sort of like just polyester. So it is easy to machine sew. So that's really nice. Um, that is $37.99. So you do get a lot for that. So there's, that's definitely more than you need, even for a big quilt. So it is a king size piece. But we do have smaller packs of wadding as well. So we have this one here. If I give you the code, ZW61. So this is a smaller pack. How much have we got in here? So this is the H640. So again, it's a nice, it's just a nice wadding here. This is uh, fusible on the back. So again, you can use it for all sorts of different craft projects, from bag making to quilts. And as it's fusible, fusible it will stay in place. This pack has metre and it's 90 centimetres wide. So it's quite, that's quite nice for like a lap quilt or something like that, nice size. Oh, sorry, I've got to put that away because it's sold out. <laughs> it is good, it's good stuff to have. But we have others. So we also have... We've got Thermolam. Is this the Thermolam? I think of this the Thermolam. This is the Thermolam here. So Thermolam basically is a heat resistant interfacing wadding. So it's sort of like a, it feels like a felt. It feels felted. Um, and you'll use this on anything that you want to be heat resistant, such as table runners, table mats, coasters, or if you are making a cosy for your cafeteria, something like that, you want to maintain the heat. Or a cup cosy, you can get mug cosies now. So this is quite nice. It's only £5.99 for a metre, and again, it's 90 centimetres wide. Very useful to have. It's something that I always have in my stash, because if you want to make little mats and things, this is what you would use. You could use a microwave, make it for a microwave bowl, yes. I mean, what I, what I have seen is people making like a soup bowl that you put your soup bowl inside. So when you lift it out of the microwave, it's not too hot to handle. If I was making this for a table runner or table mat where I was going to put hot dishes straight out of the oven, I'd use two layers. If it's just for a placemat, one layer is fine, but just double up the layers if you're using it to put really hot dishes onto. So very useful to have a metre at £5.99. £5.99 for just one metre. If you buy two metres or three metres, you will get them individually cut as metre pieces. They come pre-cut. But you don't really you wouldn't use it in a big piece anyway. You tend to use it for the smaller projects. Fel it feels like felt, but it is heat resistant. Oven gloves, again, I would double up for. So anything that you're going to go straight from the oven to the table, it's heat resistant. Yes, it's heat resistant, not heat proof. So do bear that in mind. But I would double up on oven gloves, 
double up on table mats that you're going to put hot dishes straight from the oven in. But place mats, fine to do one layer. Coffee cafeteria covers, the soup, if you're going to do a soup bowl or a bowl cover, then that's fine. Or if you're going to make something, for instance, maybe you're going to make a casserole and take it round to a party or a friend or something. Do you remember the days when you used to do American suppers and everybody took something round? If you make a carry case out of this, that will help retain the heat whilst you're transporting it from one place to another. So very useful to have. Oh, we've got another review. Bought to make a series of pot holders, perfect for this project. Absolutely, I totally agree with you. That's Sue. Diana's used it for pot holders as well, coasters and pot holders, absolutely. So it's very, very useful to have. Just protect your, your surfaces. Easier to went through my machine, just as easy as any other wadding, wadding that I've ever used, says Nadine. Absolutely, I totally agree. Um, it's because it's flat as well. So it is easy to go through your sewing machine, just like any other wadding, just like the 640 we looked at or the heirloom. Sheila's also said, um, want to use the for soup bowl holders, oven gloves and tea cosy. They will be really good for keeping things warm. Absolutely agree, Sheila. Totally. That's perfect for all of those things. And Margaret. Oh, everybody's loving this. They're all loving. They're all five star reviews. Is that what that means? Those five stars? I should have known that, shouldn't I? So what's, what's Margaret said? Margaret has said, does what it says, what it should. One layer within top and liner cotton fabric protects well as described. So that's nice. And could it be used for cold? I'm probably, probably could in the same way as a vacuum or thermos is, you can use it for hot and cold, can't you? So it keeps things cold, keeps things hot. So I'm thinking basically it's, it's sort of, maybe it's retaining its heat, whether it's cold or insulation, yes, maybe. I haven't tried it for cold things, but I would imagine it would, yes because that's what it's for. It's only the one PMP, remember, so this is 5 99 for a metre of this. Uh, if you want, if you think, it's a, it's a great, great price. If you want to buy two or three metres, you just multiple the number of units, but they will become a separate units. This is a great hour, actually, if you're thinking about getting some of these little bits and pieces, because you've got the one PMP that covers you for all of the whole day. So we also have, so we've got one more wadding here. This one, so the code is W61. So again, this is pre-cut, fusible. Oh, sorry, we sold out of that one. They are very useful to have. So <laughs> Pop that one away then. So what else do we have on the table here? So we also have this here, and I'm not even sure what it is. It's like Velcro or something, I think. ZW38, let's have a look. So again, this is just a little pack. This is a, a bag making a lot of noise as I get it out. Ooh, I ruined that bag. So this is like hook and loop tape. Is this the, is this, is this just hook and loop tape or is this the tape that you put on um, to join wadding pieces together? It is uh, COZW39. So this is, I would imagine, a metre. Yeah. So a metre of this, and it is hook and loop tape, which is what's good about this is it sticks to itself. So it's yeah, very noisy. So it's hook and loop on the one piece. That's really quite handy. So hook and loop tape there. I'm not going to try and put it back in the bag because it's too noisy. Oh, do you want me to show it a bit more? I was going to say. So it's only 149 for a metre. Hook and loop tape, 50 centimetres wide or 50, sorry, 50 millimetres wide. So you can use this if you're going to join sort of quite big things. Um, if you were making something like a blanket bag or something like that, you might want to use a big piece of hook and loop tape. And it does loop to itself. So you just need the one. I wouldn't use this for coats or jackets because it's a bit too wide, um, but you could use it for bags. You could cut it down if you wanted. So yes, hook and loop tape, one pound 49, 50 millimeters wide. So very handy little thing to have in your stash there. 
Now, the next thing I love is these. I think they probably come separately, but I'll bring them all in together just so you can see them all. So these are the friction pens. So let's start with the red. So this is 290, FTP 290. So this is this so so this is uh, this is a medium pen. Now this is fantastic for drawing on fabric. And what friction pens do is you use them to mark your notches, your dart placements, your button placements, etc. Anything that needs to transfer from the tissue to the fabric, use one of these and they will disappear completely when you iron them. Um, they are, they originally, these were actually made for stationery and they weren't something you would buy for dressmaking but obviously, or quilting, but obviously we've latched onto them and decided actually they're really useful. I would just have one little caveat, one little word of warning. Um, if you use them and then go into an extremely cold, i.e. put them in a freezer or in the hold of an aeroplane, you can find the friction marks will come back. So it's okay if you iron them again, they'll go, but just be aware of that if you're entering your quilt into a competition and you don't get to see it between sending it and it being hung, they might show. So just be aware of that. But otherwise, I find them brilliant, really good. And you can mark like stitching lines with them um, because you just iron it and away it goes. So that's really handy. This is the red, 3.99 for this one. This is, oh, it's called orange, by the way, orange friction. Then we have the yellow, KPP260. So again, lovely pen. Yes. So again, you can just draw on it. This is apricot orange. So you can do whatever you like with it. You can see, I've, oh, it's not a brilliant colour to write with. Let me try that one. So the reason to have the different colours is you can use different colours on different fabrics. And let me see if I can just plug the iron in. Is it on? Let's have a look. Ooh. I'm just going to... I'm on the table, but it's all right. There's many layers there, so I'm all right. Look at that. And it's gone. It's like magic, it really is. So you want it to disappear because you're marking your placement lines or dart lines or buttonholes, etc. So once you've marked them and you've sewn these things, you don't need the marks to be there anymore. We we're talking about notches and when I cut out notches, I always cut out. But actually, if you're going to do what Fiona has done and she then um, overlocks her edges, of course, you'll cut those notches off. So instead of doing that, if you go along the seam line and you mark your notches, like that, this obviously I'm doing it bigger. When you sew, you can even mark them here because once you've sewn your seam, you've matched up your notches, all you then need to do is get rid of them and they're gone, just like that. So that is uh, how useful these things are. So let's do the blue next then. So this is the blue, this is 260, this one. And again, let's, let's do a little bit on the fabric here. So you can see you can have different colours. There we are, look. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> so, oh, is it double T? Double T. Double T and double L. Greedy. <laughs> so, so they're very easy to use and you, the point of having the different colours is that you can use different colours on different fabrics. So the blue shows nice on white. Um, let's remove that one with the iron. Oh yes, you can. Let me try that. So if I just do it like that, stop jumping up and down. So that's the blue one. Let's see. So it has got a rubber tip on the end. As I said, these are initially made for stationery. So I'm not sure if the rubber works on fabric. Oh, look, it does. So you can, yeah, so this is the friction of the rub rubbing motion, which then removes the pen. But obviously for those of us that are working 
with fabric it's easier just to iron them away because that's not come off perfectly I don't think but if I just blob that on it has so that's that one and then final one is the green so this is 261 so again we've got the green so depending on the fabric you're working with you can see that's not very bold on white this is pop it's unusual to have this color so I have I have a set of them this is pop the most popular the green but you can see how easy it is to remove them and that's all you need to do so I would get the set if I were you that's a really useful set to have now something else we have that we were talking um, earlier on when Fiona was cutting the, the sort of the V, uh, the opening of that dress, she was talking about using the embroidery scissors at the end to cut right in to those corners. So it's really useful to have a pair of precision cut embroidery scissors. So really lovely prison, but I like these because they are gold tipped. So let I can see if I can get them out. So they're not gold tipped, gold handles. Am I going to be able to get them out without completely opening the packet? So this, again, let me just sort of snip. You can snip into the fabric, find an end, so I'm not ruining a whole piece of fabric. Can't find an end. Where's an end? Here it is. They're sort of gold plated, but also they have a curve. Can you see the curve on the end? Which makes it very easy to cut right in, cut thread ends. It's, it just means that when you're cutting thread ends, you can cut very close to the thread. You, and they've got very point, the point is very sharp. So just a tiny poke. <laughs> Paul's just said, whatever you do, just don't cut this fabric. I'll put it back on again. There we are. You never know. You never know I've cut it all. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> so these are really useful to have. It's always good to get a new pair of little embroidery scissors too. Because like anything, they do blunt. And these are particularly lovely because they have got gold handles. Gold plated handles. Gold quality, they've said. And they, you can use them with either hand. They've just got little circular things. And as I say, they've got the curve tip which makes them, can you see that curve on there? That makes them very easy to use and cut just your snips of, I hate fabric ends. I always like to cut your fabric ends off and these are really perfect for doing that. So they are a lovely pair of scissors. Now we've also got some large scissors and some easy action scissors. So look at these ones first. So these are right-handed scissors, 24 centimetres. They are made by Fiskars and they have moulded handles. So they fit comfortably on the hand. Functional form is what they're called, large universal scissors. But when, you know, universal scissors, you could still use these for dressmaking, 1999. Just keep them for dressmaking and don't use any other pair. Oh, Leslie has said, already have these and love them, but drop them. And they weren't quite perfect. With SSs, as such, it's great help. Great one PMP. It was an idle time to add them to my order. Well done. I think that's a good idea. Yes, if you drop them, it's not best, best, best to do, is it? Sheila has said great value for money. Gave them to a friend as a birthday present. They are having new new shears is a really good idea. I have three or four pairs. I use different pairs for different things. Um, we've also got a review from Jean. I bought the Fiskars scissors, which are a real quality product. They cut beautifully and feel nice and balanced in the hand. Yes, they do. They, they, the shaped, ergonomically shaped handle there is comfortable on the hand. Um, Leslie says, good value and quality. They are very nice. And they've got the orange in the front middle there as the Fiskars colour that we full, fully know. 19 99 for those. They are good to have, and as I say, I have more than one pair of dressmaking scissors. I have different pairs for different kinds of fabric, and I just find it works. And of course, you could have a pair you take for classes, etc. Whatever you do, please do not cut the bacon. 
keep them for yourself. Don't let anybody in the house use them for other tasks. You want them to be kept nice and pristine and fresh for your dressmaking or quilt making. We also have these. Now these are easy action. These are clips. They're spring loaded. I don't know if we've got one open. Have we got one open? So basically, if I can show you in the packet here, you've got uh, a little clip here in the center. You bring that down and they automatically open. So it makes it easier to cut with them. And then you can lock them closed, which means it's a nice safety feature for your workbox. Use these when you're clipping small thread ends. They're quite useful to have next to the sewing machine. 16 centimeters long, and you can just use them nice and easily in either hand. They have got a soft grip. They are Fiskars again. So you've got a little bit of orange just to tell you that. This is the Fiskar trademark orange. Clip them down and then you can snip. So I use these for, um, again, snipping threads. If I haven't got my embroidery scissors to hand, I could use these. Or when you're clipping around the corners and curves, um, so when you turn it through, they turn through better. Very, you've got more control with these than you have with big scissors. Well, Diane has also sent a review. Can't believe how useful these snips are, so easy to handle and so sharp. And they do have some lethally sharp blades in there, so go careful. Oh, we've had a review here. Lovely scissors, which will be easy to use and cut to the very end. And that's by a craft in Northumberland. And they do. They've got a nice sharp point right to the very end of them. And I like the way you can, once you um, finish using them, you can just lock that in place. That means it's good. It's good for your uh, good for your sewing box. You're not going to root around and it suddenly find you're cutting your hand. And of course, being spring loaded, it's good if you've got less dexterity in your hands because it's quite easy to use. So I do like those. Now, what else can I got? I, I like this too. Well, I like everything. I like I like my gadgets. So this is a spool roll. 25 spool holders so what you do with this is you put your threads on it I don't know if we've got any threads to hand we've got one in the, oh yes we've got one in the studio can you can you see that or shall i get it okay so it comes boxed up here and then you can just set it up very simply it's just got little legs or You've got little legs, have you? Or you can actually wall mount it if you like. I have mine wall mounted. So it sits like that and you just pop your threads on. So it's very handy. Or there's the one that we've got with our threads on it. And we've got that on a shelf. So you can see it fits different thread sizes. So yeah, Bunny's falling over there behind him. <laughs> but also you can use it flat too. So you could, it's got um, little holes on the back here so you can hang it on the wall. So you can actually wall mount it. Just make sure you wall mount it up the right way so that the threads don't all fall off. But very handy to have. It's only 7 99 and it keeps your threads to hand. And what a lot of people will do is put their bobbings with it. So you've got your right colour bobbing with your thread as well. Nice present for somebody who sews. Keep their threads together. And then we have Stitch and Tear. So this is a particular brand make. So stitch and tear is basically um, the wadding that you cut away or tear away afterwards. Now you use this if you're doing decorative stitching or if you're doing um, machine embroidery. So what you need is to have some support behind the fabric as you stitch, but then you can tear it away afterwards. So this is Visalin's stitch and tear and quite handy guide on how to use it and what to do with it afterwards. And you just use it to, so you're going to prevent your fabric from puckering as you sew. So if you're doing concentrated stitching, so it might be behind a plique, it might be when you're using your decorative stitching or your twin needle stitching, or even when you're doing um, some fancy machine embroidery with your embroidery machine, you would put this behind your work. And it has got instructions on how to use it. And once you've stitched, you can tear away the excess. So this is quite useful to have. I like the way it's got the instructions on the back too, but it's showing the different applications and then how you just literally tear away the excess. So if you're doing quilting, sort of heavyweight quilting on anything, it just stops your fabric puckering because concentrated stitching will make the fabric pucker uh, if you don't have something behind it. 
And yet again, we have a QR code. Quite a lot of products are doing this now. QR code on the packet that you can then um, see how to use it. You'll have some instruction on how to use it on there. Very useful. And there's YouTube information as well, it says. £2.49 for a pack. It is, what's the size have we got in here? 90 centimetres by 36. So that's quite a nice chunk of it. So you'll use a little bit here and a little bit there when you're doing decorative stitching, when you're doing um, applique or free motion, anything that you're doing where you've got concentrated stitching on your fabric, you pop this behind. Delphine uses a lot of this. She used a lot of it in her applique and things. Just prevents the fabric from puckering when you're stitching. 90 by 36 centimetres. Now I want to, um, just got a couple more things on this desk and then I'm going to go over to the other desk because we've got some really super duper things over there. But let's finish with what we have on here. Now I do have here, this is part of the Hemline Gold range. Uh, so this new range has been developed by Hemline and this has actually been developed by Hemline or Groves in the UK. Hemline is a brand that originates in Hong Kong. But these particular pieces have originated here and they've been designed with this sort of gold and luxury look to them. But the main point about them is that part of the proceeds of these goes to Sew Aid, which is a charity that, that Hemline support extremely well because what they're doing is they're trying to get encourage people to sew in third world countries in uh, underprivileged countries that don't have the facilities and everything that we have so they support them by providing haberdashery and equipment and tuition through the sew aid charity so every time you buy a hemline product part of that will go to the sew aid charity which i think is a really lovely idea so these are dressmaking pencils so a bit like the friction pens but another alternative it on marking so you've got a dark one and a white one so again if you're working on um, black fabric you should use white light fabric you should use the black so they're marking pencils and you've got instructions on the back here of how to use them i'll just have to put my glasses on because they're very small <coughs> It says marks will brush off most fabrics or can be removed with a damp cloth or normal washing. So you can remove them once you've marked. So again, it's also, also by the way, it's a good idea to always remove any marks. So apart from the friction, which you iron off, any other marking pen, wash away ones, fade away ones, these ones here that you can brush off or wash off, take them off before you iron. Otherwise you can iron them on. So that's the thing to be aware of. You would sharpen these like a normal pencil. They are just a normal pencil. So at the moment, they're not sharpened at all. Oh, yes, they are. I lied. They've got a point. So again, if I slip that out, let's get my piece of fabric again. And I can just mark on the fabric. But this one... This one we, we find you have to brush off or wash off with a damp cloth. So I'm not going to iron that because that will then might set it permanently. So that, they're really handy to have. So again, I always like to have a different selection of marking pens. So 269 for those. Um, then we also have, now this is a little odd on its own, but it's really useful if you've got a glue marker. Um, so this is a this is a prim glue marker. So this is the refill for it. So this is looks like a bit like a pen and you can just sort of draw a line of glue, which when you're wanting to add like trims or zips, you can use it to position zips. And so rather than tacking by hand, you can use the glue pen. And this is a little refill to go in that glue pen. So that's $1.99. If you haven't got the glue pen or the glue marker yet, it will be on the website. Um, just have a look on the website because if you haven't got it yet, it is really useful and I use mine all the time. I use it to, when I want to lay trim down. It just means it's, you make sure it's straight because when you sew, there's nothing worse than getting to the end of a, a row of trim that you've just put on and realise it's gone crooked. So it just helps keep it straight. We haven't had this in stock for ages, which is why it's here on its own. Just a little bit of an oddity. We have another thing we have here which is this little storage pot always useful to have so it's 
nine snap sealed compartments it's one large four medium four small and it's all it's, it's got a little um thing this is brand new to us if i open it up look so you could put anything that you like now i would use this for i'm just trying to work out how to open the little little compartments i would use this for snaps like poppers hooks and eyes little things like that or if you do beading or sequins or something on things you've got little pots and they clip shut so you can open them individually and then you've got the one big one on this side which i can't open because it's still got the tag on there this is brand new today really useful little pot you could put need hand sewing needles in there you could put your um machine needles in in the, in the bigger size still leave them in the packets as i say hooks and eyes pop of fasteners like that really useful to have little bits and pieces so you don't have to take all these little packs you can just pop a few into here and then keep them all together take it to your class you could put machine feet in there if you've got lots of machine feet you could pop them in there so this is for all your sort of useful little tools that you're using quite a lot. Maybe a load of safety pins, they're always handy to have. So a very nice little pack. And I like the way it just clips shut and then it's got a little carry handle or hanging handle, whatever. So you can use this for all sorts of crafts. It's the crafty storage solution for all your crafty. It says funky paper craft, but I, you know, again, I'm completely not using it for paper. I'm thinking of all the little sewing bits and pieces that you can have. Really handy, easy to open. And then it's got all these little storage compartments, which I, so I wish I could open that one, but I, don't, I can't because of that. <laughs> You'd have a Twix in it. I don't think it's quite big enough for a Twix. But it's certainly big enough to put things like your little glue refills. But also, as I say, I would put poppers, hooks and eyes, little buttons, needles, needle threader. So you can put all sorts of little bits together. Or if you're thinking of a project, you can put a little bit, little components for a project in that and take that with you as an easy sew project. You could even put your little embroidery scissors in there. If these ones will fit, yes, they would. They would fit in there, those little embroidery scissors. So you could actually take this as a little sewing kit with you on a journey and keep everything together. Brand spanking new today, £1.99 for this little pack with all these little compartments. You could put bobbins into that one. I've got little projects in here, little things, little items. Needles, as I say, pins safety pins buttons what you put in is entirely up to you of course but you can put everything you need for a project have have caddy will travel you put your, you put your biscuits <laughs> you can have bis biscuits in one and uh, tea bags and um, <laughs> all your sweets <laughs> You could, so you could put all your needles and threads and things in and then you can put your tea bags in too. <laughs> I think we're just going off the point here now. It is, it's nice and compact and I like the way it's just a nice neat little thing so you can use it to carry things around quite easily. Or, I mean, there's nothing worse when you, you know, you got to the end of a project and all you want is a hook and eye and you have to delve through your workbox or your storage cupboards and you can't find it. So keeping them in these little pots is really handy. People are multi-buying this, which is not surprising because lots of different things you could do. If you do beading um, or anything like that, then they're perfect for that because they're little compartments. So what you have is nine compartments in there. One is the large one, four medium and four small. So some little pot to feed everything that you might need. Storage to go box is what it's called. So the only other thing I have on my desk here now this is quite cute these are unicorn buttons they would fit in the storage box they would definitely fit in the storage box so you've got a little pack all oh, these are brand new too a little pack and they've got shanks on the back so they're not so through the little shanks on the back they're just really sweet and you could add these to little projects oh that's that's them on the picture so you've got two of each color six six in there all together they are machine washable at 40 degrees 
So very, just very cute little unicorns. And they are brand new today, £2.99. So £2.99 for that little pack of six. So yes, you can, can you see the size of them? They're a reasonable size, yes. I would think about an inch, an inch and a quarter wide. You could put them on a backpack or yes, if you're making something for somebody who loves unicorns. So many little kids love unicorns, don't they? So just, just a sweet little nonsense, really. So I'm going to stroll across to the other desk and uh, look at the last three things that are really exciting. If you do want to get in touch with us, please do email studio at sewingstreet.com or you can Facebook on the Facebook page at Sewing Street TV. So what have I got here? Look at this, look at this. I love this. Does it actually come with the threads? Because it says it's suitable for the threads. Wow. This is amazing. It must do. Because it wouldn't be, it wouldn't. Yeah, it must do. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? So we've got all these threads as well. All these different colours. And they have got, I'm just trying to see what, it, what the size of these are. Does it say on the get my glasses on and I can see what it says in here. They're 40 weight. They are polyester embroidery threads. And it's 500 meters. Is that right? Wow. Is it 500 or 50? Just looking on here. It says 500. 500 meters. Really lovely. So all these 50 colours, 50 colours in here. 100% polyester, 40 weight. They fit better if you, they fit better if you, t you have half upside down, half up the right way, but I just wanted to show the colours. <laughs> so yes, I mean, they're just beautiful colours. Absolutely gorgeous and 49 99 for 50 reels of thread, yet alone the box that they're in. That's an amazing deal there. So all of these, so you can see some of the colours there, but these are the colours too. So people are multi-buying. This, this would make a fabulous gift for somebody who sews. It really would. Lot, I mean, the, every sort of shade that you can want. Look at all these. All slightly different shades of green. So these are embroidery, so you would use these for machine embroidery, decorative stitching. So if you've got some decorative stitching you want to do, you want to use some of your beautiful stitches on your sewing machine, don't forget the stitch and tear. And then use some of these glorious colours as well. And you can make projects look fantastic, great for top stitching as well. So you can really make something zing out with these things. And it's just lovely in this pack that they're all in here together. You don't have to keep them in the pack either. This pack, this box will suit other thread reels. So it's also, also suitable for 30 mini cones, um, for 50 spools of 1,000 metres, etc, etc. So you can put different sizes in here. It's a stackable box and you, it's got a hinge lid. So it keeps them nice and clean. So the spools can be up to 63 millimetres in height. Clips shut, nice and sturdy. You can, again, you can take that. I have students who come on my creative sewing weekend and they do come with their whole load of threads when they're going to be doing machine embroidery, etc. So they'll have two or three boxes like this full of all different threads. Very, very handy. 49 99 for all of those, for the little box as well as all those lovely threads. Definitely beautiful, but also, don't miss this. Now, this is another one of my favourite items. This is a quilting mat. Oh, we are limited. So it's four mats in one. Basically, it's four mats in one. I'm going to open it very carefully then. Do you have one open? OK. If you can get one open, I'll just show the back of it for now. Because um, this is really, really useful to have. It's, I can't believe it's 14 99 So what you have here is a cutting mat an anti-skid design layout, 
pattern markers page and then an ironing mat all in the one so again perfect for taking to classes to have your own little ironing surface your little tool here or oh, his lo lovely um, Elliot's going to give me one so this is an A4 size thank you often comes in different patterns I particularly like this pattern so this is what you have so you open it up so this just feels like sandpaper so you can do your layouts on that this is also felty this is your little cutting mat and then you just flip it over and you've got an ironing mat which I've now got upside down of course but very very transportable perfect for taking to classes you can have this next to your sewing machine have the little iron that we often use on the sew and you've got all that right to hand when you're doing a little bit of ironing in between seams etc nice little cutting mat and it's marked in inches and metric and then we have this this will grip the fabric so you can lay your pieces out and they will stay there we are very limited on this so if you do want this then please do get it now because it's one of the most popular items we've ever had and it is only 14.99 so it's a brilliant price for that product lovely ironing surface you can just use a small bit or you can open it up and use both so very very handy lovely gift again thinking thinking ahead for christmas really beautiful gift for somebody that you know that sews Oh, we have got the great big cutting mat. Um, just going to show the graphics for it now. Is this the one behind me? Hold on. Oh, OK, brilliant. So this is, this is the A1. So A1 is basically four times A4. So it's big. Very, very big. Look at this. <laughs> it's peak. So yes, this is a really lovely cutting mat. It has uh, metric on one side and imperial on the other. And as most people in quilting will use inches, I'll put the inches side up. Look how big it is, I'm having to try and make room for it. So you have got here, you've got all the, all the markings here, but it's also marked in the sort of smaller size, the A3 size here. So that's, that's A3, that is, that is, that is. So you've got all of that there. But if you're only working for a little bit, easy to use. If you're doing a long bit, great. If you're cutting width of fabric, you can use this. You've got your grade, your diagonals. So you've got 30, 45 and 60 inch diagonal lines. So you've got those different things. So if you're doing things like Dresden plates and things like that, you can use those. So it's very, very handy. And it has inch and half inch. In fact, it goes down to, I think it's uh, eighth. One, two, three, four. Yes, eighth of an inch markings as well. So that's on that size. And it's the self-healing, 37.99. So self-healing mat. This one's very well used. We use it frequently. And don't forget, you still get it with your one P and P. And then that's the metric. So that is that. I'm going to leave that on the table and go for the bag. So this is... This is a craft bag. I love the design of this one. It's only 9 dollars It's a really funky design on here. I know we should make our own, but sometimes it's a good idea just to buy one, just because we can. It's got a magnetic popper and it has got a nice big box bottom. So it's, it's actually rounded, which is quite nice, with these pleather handles. That is definitely not just for craft, is it? That is, it's a hundred percent cotton. With are they leather or pleather? They says leather. Okay. It's lovely, isn't it? I mean, they say craft bag, but as Elliot's saying, you could actually use this as a beach bag, couldn't you? Use it for anything. You put your potatoes in it. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, you could use it as a shopping bag. So I'm not sure about putting potatoes particularly, but it has got a nice robust magnetic clip as well so that just kind of holds it shut so it'd be, be very strong for your potatoes if it's what you want to use it for so yeah so it's a really nice bag nice shape and it's just 9.99 I mean seriously you could not make it for that not in this lovely sort of canvas cotton that it's in it really is lovely 
pop that in your basket and you've got a bag to take for your shopping for your potatoes or to go to the beach or whatever else. And now the last thing we have on here is some buttons. So we have got, we've got a lo lovely sort of little fun buttons here. Let's start, because we had the unicorns, let's start with the little puppies. So these are the little puppies. You've got four little puppy bu buttons. Again, they're shank buttons. So you have a shank on the back of them. They're not so through. Really nice little buttons. And you see the little... Let me kind of separate him. Can you see? This? Look at them, aren't they sweet? Brand new to us. Black of pack of four. Really sweet. Two ninety nine for four of these little patterns, little dogs. Can you see? That's just to give you an idea of scale. And uh, then we have now what we go for. Oh, these! Looking at that fabric we had earlier with a little spotty fabric. Look at these little spotty buttons. These are the most popular on pre-order. Again, two ninety nine. This is a pack of eight. Pack of eight buttons this time. So we've got two yellow, two pink, two red, and then a little blue one. They're new, they're new to us. They're novelty dotty heart buttons. Aren't they sweet? But they would go with those dotty half fat quarters that we were looking at earlier. You could put them in the storage box. They would fit nicely in the storage box. Any of these buttons would. So again, there's another use for that to have, have it as a, a little box of buttons. We also have, well, I'm just, oh, these are so cute. These are just little flowers. Now, these are different sizes in this one. Different types of flowers. Smiley face. Brand new again. £1.99 this time for these little flowers. So we've got a little smiley face twice. Oh, three little smiley, four little smiley faces and then three little flowers. I thought, oh, they might be little sunshines. They're very sweet, aren't they? Different sizes in here, but nice novelty buttons, cute little buttons. There's always something that you can find to put a pretty little button onto. Oh, look at these. Oh, these I'm going to turn them up this way. Oh, my goodness, look at these. Oh, aren't they lovely? Butterflies. Little butterflies. Go straight, that's it. That's cute, aren't they? Brand, brand new again, £2.99. And you have got, how many have got seven in here? Just trying to separate one so you can sort of see the size of it. There it is, look. Should have eight. It says pack of seven. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is only seven in there. Yeah, it's pack of seven. Aren't they cute? And the last one is these little cupcakes. Look at these. Now we've got nine cupcakes. So really, aren't they cute? Nice little cupcakes. <laughs> and again, they're shank buttons and just pretty. Four pinks. And then you've got four blues and three purples. Really sweet. Shank buttons, nice and small. Now, after the break, Fiona is back with yet one another, one of her fabulous patterns and um, a little demonstration on how to make it. Now, this is the button through dress, which you can make with a self-coloured belt or as Fiona's wearing it there, you can use your own belt. So I will see you in just a few minutes. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. 
you are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself And I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere um, So uh, sewing tips I would say I teach a lot of people to sew especially beginners and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly. Don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt. Build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi, welcome back. And here we are now with Fiona. She's just getting the machine set up. Um, just one comment quickly. Uh, Julie McBride says, Morning, Wendy. Your dress is stunning. Is it African wax print as presented? It's not, actually. I did buy the fabric on the show. It was, it's a very bold print, isn't it? And I've cut it up. So, yes, it's very bold print, but not African wax. It's just a cotton. Uh, anyway, thank you for your nice comments. Um, so what we're going to do today or th for this hour is we are going to mainly look at the Betty dress which is this lovely one here so it's the one this is the one that Fiona is actually wearing at the moment this is the pattern and we've also got this sample on this on the show today to show you so you can see how lovely it looks in both plain and in pattern fabric so again as with most of the patterns that Fiona does this is for 8 to 22 size but ignore that and think more of bust size here so that goes from 32 inches to 46 as the pattern did earlier on 
and then the finished um, measurements, the finished bust size is 32 and a half inches compared to 32 for your body measurement. So a very small amount of ease and otherwise it's going to be fitted through the bust. It has got a waist seam and it's buttoned through but Fiona is going to show a little hack on or show, you've done a hack on just buttoning the top bit haven't you? So you can show just that. Yes, since I, I sometimes think people are a little bit frightened of buttons so I just thought you know if you just did the top section with the facing and then what you do is you cut two backs so the back and the front are the same and you just have the gathers going across and then I don't even do the buttonholes here just so the button's on because you just li literally slip it on and off. So it's just an, so you easy, can, it's so an easy alternative. Isn't as it? usual, Fiona has some <laughs> hacks for her pattern, so Quick. you can do them. So this does say it's for intermediate, but if you're thinking about it from that point of view, yeah. it's easy. Yeah, and the only easy. reason it's intermediate is because of the buttons and buttonholes in the placket. I think so, yes, yes. It's hard for me to gauge sometimes. What it, people, is, it is. You know, um, I mean, buttonholes are so easy when yes. you know how, and yes. that's always the thing, isn't it? And if you make a mistake, you can unpick them. Yes. So, you know. It's not always not lost. I mean, obviously, if you've opened it, then. Yeah, no, then you but can't. But, <laughs> <laughs> but so, it's a really nice pattern, this, and it's going to be made in all sorts of different fabrics. So, it's £18.50 for the pattern. Um, it, it has here. Oh, lovely, thank you. I've got the instructions which I will be showing you. So the instructions are inside, nice little booklet of instructions, very clear to follow. Um, but as well as that, you have also got the paper pattern pieces, full size pattern pieces. But let's look at the fabrics first. So first off, let's look at the one that Fiona's working with. Now we're selling this in the half metre. So to, if you want to make the dress out of it, you will need to buy multiples of that. Um, I'm looking at the, the most you need is three metres. So 749 for half a metre and if you need, if you want to make your dress out of this then you're going to need six of those, seven of those, six of those um, to get three metres and it will come as one piece then. So this is the one that Fiona's working on. It's a lovely cotton fabric. We've only seen it on air once before. Now it is a sort of stripe and if you want to be pattern matching, you might even want to order another half metre to make sure you can pattern match. You don't have to pattern match, it's not essential, regardless of what Patrick says. You can actually make things perfectly well without pattern matching. So this is a really lovely cotton. £7.49 for the half metre, so if you wanted to use it for the dress, you do need to buy multiples. And as I say, three metres will do it. The next one we have, again, is this lovely pinky one. Oh, that is a directional one. So it's got little flowers on it. This is An Anna Marie Horner. Anna Ma Anna, Anna Marie. Okay, yes, Anna Marie Horner, that's right. So this is, again, this is 50 centimetres. Uh, sorry, this is half a metre. Um, £7.49, really, really pretty, I love this, this would be beautiful in that dress. But you would need to buy six units to get three metres. If you bought the three, three to dress pattern earlier, this would also work for that too. And then the next one, again this is an Anna Marie Horner fabric. I remember we had this one before. This is called Bright Eyes? Oh, stack, in stacked breakfast, that's what I was thinking of, stacked breakfast, that's what I remember from before. So the bright, this is the Bright Eyes collection, but the actual fabric is stacked. But you can imagine it's sort of cereal bowls, can't you? So again, that's not just a bit of fun, isn't it? It's fun fabric, this is. Really nice. So this is, again, 749 for the half metre. So buy multiples of half metres if you want to use it for the dress. And then we go back to that pretty little flower print, but this time in a different colour way. So this is, this is nice as well. I love this. I like the pink, but I like this one too. Just a little bit different. Lovely for summer, aren't they? Very nice for summer, yeah, yes, I agree. Nice. Very pretty. You'd feel quite summery, wouldn't mm. you, wearing that? 
But we do have planes, because not everybody likes these bright prints. Some people like to be plainer. And we have these in bundles. So these are bundles. So the first one is this sort of silvery grey. I have two. OILJ61. It could be 81. Or JH6624. 24. YH, yeah. So this is sort of the ecru colour, no, silvery colour, oh my goodness, I'm going today. A silvery colour here, and it's sort of a linen, it's a 100% linen bundle, so you're getting the whole three metres for 34 99 So you get three metres here, which will do this dress, or indeed probably uh, the other one, the Frieda dress we had earlier on. So it's really lovely. In fact, I think it would also probably do the Sicily dress as well, wouldn't it? Just have a quick look. Yes, it would. It would also do that one as well. So this is quite a useful quantity of fabric to have. I tend to buy three or three and a half metres. This comes as a bundle three metres wide. We also have the same fabric, but this time in this beautiful dusky pink. Which is... It is 624, EM6624. So this is lavender. So again, it's the 100% linen, three metre bundle. This has been the most popular on pre-order. This is very similar to the fabric that you've used mm. in that pink, isn't it's it? It's such a pretty pink though, that. This is very it? pretty, isn't it? Very pretty pink. It's like a little bit vintage looking, isn't yes. it? It's much nicer than the one I've used, I oh, think. Oh, no, I, I like that one as well, actually. Mm. So you're all right. <laughs> Phew! <laughs> <laughs> I like that too. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so this is lavender. Now this is enzyme washed, 100% linen fabric. So it's very, very pretty. A lot of people love this one. I, I agree. It's really nice. And then we have one more in this range, which again, this is in aqua. This is aqua. This one is the one we've got most limited of. So 34.99 for the three metre bundle. Um, and again, enzyme washed, 100% linen. Just excuse the fact it's uh, got creases in it, but that is the thing about linen. It's supposed to be part of the attraction. But very lovely fabric. Feels very fresh colour, and it's quite soft, and it's, it'd be really nice to make up. I think your least trousers would be good in this as well. I think that would look lovely in that colour. Yeah. So let's look at the trouser pattern. I like these. Is this the one we've got? I've got behind me. That's the one, yeah. So I've got those behind. So that move. one doesn't have a belt, though, but uh, the one. So you can, you can leave the belt off. You don't have to have the belt, do you? Well, Again, this is up to them. you. Oh, here we are, yeah. So yes. we've got, you've got a pair. Is that, in Af is that in African wax? This is cotton African wax cotton. Yes. yes. So yes. that's with the belt. So the, uh, these are the cropped. And, and also the one in the video has got the belt on. And that's in a kind of linen viscose, the one I'm wearing, which is very similar to, yes, to these linens. It's nice to have something that hangs well, but with cotton, they're quite nice to have the cropped ones. Yes. Because, you know, they're quite nice to wear. I wear these down the beach, where I'm living at the moment. <laughs> very nice. And this is the So Girl um, Elise Elsie. Elsie Elfie, trousers. Yeah. Again, we've got the same sizes, 8 to 20. So looking at that on the sizes, this time we're going to look at waist and hip. You so the smaller it. size mm. is 24 or 34, uh, 24 waist, 34, 35 hip. And the uh, largest size goes up to 20, so it is 37 inch waist, 47 inch hip. So very, very nice that is. I like the cropped mm. version. If anybody's got the viscose and wants to make trousers instead. Oh, that's nice. In Here's the a pair of, so they're like palazzo pants when they're in viscose. Oh, I like those. And they're very ni nice and slinky for summer, summer evenings, like the ones we're about to have. <laughs> <laughs> you keep telling me we're going to have. We've got to have a summer somewhere. I've got it on authority here with Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I've just put my duvet back on the bed. Oh. So we will have a summer now. This is when you turn your heating on in, in August. Yeah. That's when you worry, isn't it? Uh, so this is a Sicily dress. This is long or short sleeved. 
Now with this one, you can, we haven't got this one here, have we? So with this one, one here, so again, it's for intermediates. It's got some top stitching. You can leave top stitching mm. out. Or where, where Fiona has used a contrast colour, mm. if you're a little bit unsure, use a mm. matching colour and then yeah. it's not so obvious. Yeah. And I would probably wear the belt pulled to the back. Yeah. So that I don't have yeah. too much on my big oh, tummy. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. But you can, that's what you can do, isn't it? It's the beauty of it. Yeah. Or you could use, we were talking about what you can do with some contrast fabrics. You could use a contrast colour belt. Yes, or as you've got, you've just yeah, got a like regular a belt, belt, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Mm. So it's really nice. Good sizes again, 8 to 20. And we also have the Martha skirt. Yeah. So this looks great in one colour. We've got it, you've got mm. it shown here in one colour. Mm -hmm. And with these lovely slanted patch pockets. Mm. Um, so but also, I like I like the contrast as well. I think that's really yeah, nice. Yeah, it's fun. That is. Yes, it? it's such a practical skirt. That one, especially if you make it in denim or linen, it's just one of those dress skirts I sling on. <laughs> yes, <laughs> without thinking, and just feel really comfortable in. So this one does have a zip. That one's got a back zip. Yeah, in the centre back seam. Yes. There's that funny woman again. Doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I think you do really Trying well. Trying to be a model. Oh, I think you do brilliantly. Who would have thought at 60 I would be a model? <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of our guests the other day, that's what she did. She did a modelling. Um, she went and did something for a magazine oh, yeah. in London. She's very elegant. Days, can't you? Nice. Yeah. Yes. Nothing wrong with being 60. Yeah. Um, but I love the fact on the back of the pattern, look, you get the diagram. So that's how I knew there was a zip. Look, yeah. I can see it. Yeah. 60s is the new 40s, by the way. Yeah, so the actually. shorter one is sort of knee length, and then the longer one is, is sort of like longer length. Yes, mm. yes, so knee, knee length or longer. And it's got a band. So you've got here fabric requirements. So it does tell you if you want to do the contrast. contrast. Yes. You, it's got it was how a much little bit tricky, well, you know, because it's a lot of information for doing it just as one fabric or doing it in contrast fabric with all the different sizes. But it's all there, yes. so you just have to. So if you want to do the contrast version, it, which yes. I rather like, and it's got a back slit on the longer version mm. too. Yes, it's got a nice back. So yeah. we this hour, those are the patterns that are available. But this hour, we're concentrating on the Betty dress. We are, aren't we? yes. And I just thought I would point out a few little things about Betty because uh, recently I've been sent a lovely picture, which is on my Instagram. I've reposted it from a lady in Czechoslovakia, would you believe? And she just photographed every. <laughs> in minute detail every aspect of this pattern and I thought this woman really loves this pattern and and it made me think about the little details that you've got because you've got the little side uh, curved side slit opening at the bottom which is nice it's a little bit like a nice little detail at the side seam and you've got these turn back so it's a grown on sleeve there's no insetting sleeves which is a really easy option all it is is just a big hem that then half of it you turn back. I think we did cover it on the sewing bee and I think they stumped a lot of the contestants, didn't it? Where, and it was so basically easy where you just do a very long, very large um, hem and then you just turn it back. So that's very nice. And then some very useful patch pockets. And when you wear this, you feel very comfortable. I have to say, it's a very comfy dress and a nice summery, you know, holiday sort of dress as well. It, it's Remember very those? nice. <laughs> and again, I possibly would tie the belt either to the side or back, purely yes. because I, that's my tummy. Yes. I have a tummy, and if I put, well, I've got if I tie too, it at the tummy, I find it yes. emphasises it. Yes. So I just tie them in the back, and it works perfectly. Yeah, that's, that's but I love the great. dress. Yeah. It's kind of like a shirt waister, but not. It is, yeah. Isn't it? It's sort of yes. hint to. Yes, it's kind of like sort of quite a sweet dress, isn't it? Very. It's like sort of quite young, like girly dress, I think. I uh, just want to point out with the pattern, um, I did have a lady once that sort of said she was a little bit confused about this, you know, uh, the markings. You can see them really clearly on the very smallest size. Um, if I just get a pen here, you can see. So where it goes down, and it's got some little notches where you actually fold it. So if you take your pen or a highlighter or a felt pen in colour and just mark it out clearly, it, it will make it a lot easier when you're cutting. So if you do that beforehand, but it's, it just literally juts out a little bit, then it goes in and then it goes up and then it does the same on the other side. So just 
you know, I would I would definitely highlight those before you cut out, and that will avoid any problems. It's also nice to be able to transfer your buttonhole markings to your pattern pieces, after, you know, after you've cut them out. Uh, just do some tailor's tack so that you can see where your button positions are. You know, you can always bring back the pattern later, but I always think that if you've done that, it just makes yes. it so much easier I, I, I to see. I would use the friction pen rather than tailor's tack. Oh, tacks, the friction pen, yes. But <laughs> well, then that's because I don't like hand sewing. So. Yes. <laughs> But I suppose if you go right through each layer, you pull it apart, snip, yes. and then you've got the, the markings on both sides rather than having to turn it over. But yeah. pin, mark, pin, pin mark, mark, yes. <laughs> anything I've done ease. that as well, though. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. It's good to mark. It's good to point out these different ways of doing things. So um, anyway, so we if you're a little bit, you know, these are kind of tr sizes are sort of true to M and S size. I would say. I don't know if I'm allowed to mention that one. <laughs> on the program but um, if you're a little bit in doubt just make up the bodice you know don't worry about the skirt section but just make up the bodice and not a lot of fabric you know maybe half a meter and you, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to see you try that on and see very quickly whether or not it's the right fit so you know I always just recommend making a toile not a lot of people do <laughs> I don't think they like to just get on with it and I completely understand that and I'm the same but um, I think that sometimes if you with something like this where you want you don't want it too baggy you want it you want it to just fit snugly with a little bit of ease then you just want to kind of get that right before you go carry on so I think that's a good idea to do that just before you start, we're just going to look at the pattern again. Um, so what we have in the pattern, so you've got all this lovely information on the back of the pattern envelope. And then inside you have the little booklet, which tells you everything you need to know. And I just love the fact you've got before you're getting started, you've got a glossary and you've got the layout, how to lay out the pattern pieces on the fabric. And then the very clear instructions as you go through. Very simple. I love that you've got the side view. That's that, that, that's that lovely sort of shaped hemline yes. that we were just looking at. Yes. Something very, very, very easy to mm. follow, even to the point of how to open the buttonhole. I mean, all the instructions are here for you to follow. Mm. Very, very simple, it's easy mix, to follow. It's a mix of photographs and drawings, yes. that, which is sometimes a photo is better than a drawing and sometimes it's the other way around. Absolutely. So I quite like to mix them in, really. Yes. <coughs> so it's really beautiful. Mm. These Anna Maria Horner fabrics are just a lovely weight for this dress. I think a nice cotton is a lovely weight and linen. Um, it's good in draped fabric as well, but I kind of can't help feeling that it just needs something with a little bit more structure, mm. you know, so I think that would be good. Um, but these are also nice singy fabrics. Uh, if you've got a pattern with a um, very distinctive pattern like this, you might not want to pattern match, but I would definitely think about the, the line of the pattern going all the way round. So just try and sort of make sure that you're starting at the same point in the pattern. It's very easy with this one because you've got triangles. So I just literally put the, the top of the shoulder uh, piece uh, and lined it up with a, uh, a diamond and I did the same on the back. So then you know that everything's on the same level when it goes round. So, but I mean, as you know, we've crossed with pattern matching at the front, you know, I mean, often you, you might have to move the pattern piece quite far over. So you might not have enough fabrics to do that. And, you know, really, it's, I think it's just it's not, as it's nice. Not essential, it's not essential. Right. So um, now I'm just, first of all, stay stitching around the back neck and the front V because on the front, you've got it on the slant. Sorry, you got it on the slant. So you just want to make sure that that's not going to stretch out. So I've already stay stitched the front. We just so we, on the ca on the um, side of the screen there. This fabric that uh, Fiona is using, it, that's the code there. So if you're interested in that particular one, sorry, Fiona. That's okay. So you can see as well. I've stay stitched. So she a, a, a half a centimeter away from the the raw edge, and that's going to stop it from from stretching. Now I'm going to join the shoulder seams together first of all. So I'm just going to pin put a few pins in. And there's that little bit at the edge that's jutting out. And that's the bit for the fold back um, hem on the sleeve sleeve edge. So oh 
There we go. And then to the other side with the other it's front piece. It's a lovely piece. print, isn't it? It is a lovely print, yeah. It's lovely stingy colours. Is it diagonal on the... I didn't look at that actually. Or have you cut it on the diagonal? No, it's, it, it's a, like a diamond pattern. Oh, it is, it's not isn't it? Yeah. Yes, that is lovely. Mm. The um, the circles kind of they sort of almost jump out at you. They're so sort of the colours kind of sing sing together. You know, they Don't sort they? of react. They're quite. It's quite interesting. So now I'm just going to sew, so I'm going to follow the little kink in the, with the, um, the sleeve cuff and so I'm going up and down so I literally follow the line of the outer line. So I drop my needle down when I come to the kink, move it over and actually if you haven't stay stitched your back neck already you could just carry on straight rounds and do it now do it i must admit one. i'm a right advocate for stay stitching because otherwise you can stretch the fabric out of shape whilst you're stitching if you don't can't you? yes so it's a good thing to have done well when you're attaching a facing you want you know sometimes the facing doesn't you know the facing's static because it's got interfacing on it so it's like you 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 want to kind of um, stop the facing you stop the fabric from yes. so that it matches you see what I mean? yeah we're gonna we're gonna test you we're gonna ask you to show us how you've got that perfect match on your shoulders right so there we are now if I had a little bit more time I would probably finish the raw edge with a zigzag or an overlocker and then press that towards the back and then top stitch I think yes but I'm just going to move on today so we we'll just press it a little bit like so and it might be a good idea to get your tailor's ham here because it is slightly curved the tailor's hams available on the web. Um, if you haven't got one, it is a really useful tool to have. And then just poke out that little kink as well, because that's going to show you where it is. And then, and you can see I've put sticky labels on my pattern pieces, which I am a great big fan of. Like a bit of masking tape just to say what's what. I always keep the pattern piece folded with the garment piece mm. until I've used it, just in case I've forgotten to transfer any markings. And as you say, to make sure you're sewing, you know, the, the front is the front sort of thing. That's right, yes. Sometimes it's, a color, well I think I mentioned this on the previous show, about pegging it up, pegging it sort of onto a picture or something like that, just so that you can grab it really quickly. Yes. Right, so there's my, you know, it almost makes like a little jacket. It's quite sweet, isn't it? It is. You could almost just have that, couldn't you? So this one doesn't have darts in it. No darts, no, no. It's, um, I think because you've got this grown on sleeve, it's actually quite loose here. So there is in fact no bar bus measurement really because it all goes into the sleeve. This So now I'm going to join the underarm and I'm going to try and get as much done today, no more dithering. <laughs> so join that underarm, See, so you've got like a little bodice going on here, there we go. Right. Yes, I've got. Um, there's also a, a lady called Amy Scar. She used to be the editor of um, Love Sewing Magazine, and she has made quite a few of these dresses. So if you go on her blog, you can see them. 
and uh, she's like a big fan of this dress. It's got a lot of love, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I can follow the kink again. And then... So that kink is the turn up, isn't it? Is the turn back, yes, on the sleeve edge. Say a quick hello to my mum and dad while I'm sewing. <laughs> <laughs> Just get that I in. should do the same, really. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Say so, hello, Fiona's mum and dad. Yes, we're seeing them later. Oh, I've seen today, aren't you? Yes. Yes. Very I'm nice. going to drop in and see them tonight. Where do they live? Are they up Just this outside way? London. Okay. Yes. Right. Just make sure that your raw edges are, line, are aligned matching up so because mine have moved over so That's obviously a yeah, few more pins yeah. there would really help i've been a bit so a belated good morning from helen chambers who says a belated good morning to you all loving the anna maria horner fabrics i agree they are beautiful i love the patterns on those So this is the one we're using, the graphics is the one we're using here. Okay, so there I've done my underarm seams. So don't forget this is 7.49 per half metre. So if you wanted to make it for this dress, you will need three metres. Um, so you will need to buy multiple units and then it will come as one length. Now you've got a bit of curved section under the armhole. It's quite important. I mean, if you've got an overlocker, uh, finish it first or zigzag them first, and then you can just nick it after it's been finished. And then just be careful not to cut your stitching. You only need to really do it where it's curved like that. On the straight bits, it doesn't need it. There we are. So let's get those pins out and <coughs> snip this one. So this this one we're calling intermediate because really of the buttons and buttonholes. Yes. But, but you can, as you were saying, you could actually leave that out. Yes. And you don't need them. Yes, yes. And as I said on the blog, you know, you'll get a bit more information about how I, 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 I did the blog, um, did the, the hack, sorry to say that word. Yeah, no, Mash not up. my favourite. <laughs> I just <laughs> like customised or... Customised, yes. yes, I've customised it. Just adapted it really yes. to sort of for a little bit slightly easier, you know, for people that don't don't want like to do buttonholes. Um, right, so I'm going to just take my sticky labels off now. And I'm going to sew the facing. So here we have the facing. And I've... Now I think if you're... I've just... I have put interfacing on it, but I think um, for the... Uh, long dress version I would I have done it without on slightly thick fabrics so I have done it without uh, or do it with a, an ultra soft one you don't want that front bit to be sort of hard you know so I no. would sort of you know, I would use interface because you're putting button because holes you're putting it. button holes on yes I would definitely do that although I don't think I did there or did I so we the one we've got no, on with this is the on lightweight one, one. It fine it depends on your fabric really yes. So I'm now joining my, uh, I put that back down like that. So I'm, there's my front facing and there's my back and I'm just joining it at the shoulder seams. I like the way you have put arrows on that so you know which is the bit to join to. Them. Yes, because it's quite similar because, I, oh, and what I've done is the facing with the buttons that go all the way down is super long. Here it is. Let me get it out and I'll show you. Um, here we are, it's the front facing and you can see it's quite long, it goes all the way down to the bottom edge. Now when you're, when you're doing the front, when you're just doing the front bodice only, 
and not all the way down. You just want to draw a line across and you can just fold it up like I've done there. Um, and it's got to basically match the bodice. So whatever size line you've got, you just put the bodice, it's all explained on the blog. So here's the bodice front. So I matched up my facing like that. And then I just draw a line where I've at the same level as the bottom edge. So it's very easy. Makes sense. Right, so I'm going to now join the front to back. The front facing to the back facing. So let me just hop over that bit there. So this pattern is proven to be very popular, as I'm not at all surprised. It is a beautiful pattern, £18.50. We do have lots in baskets. Do check out though, remember. It's 8 to 22, um, which if I just tell you what those, that means in measurements, so you know that it fits you. So waist is from 25 inches to 39, hip from 35 to 49, and bust 32 to 46. So that's the measurement. So that's all of those sizes in the one pattern. So if I turn that over, you can see And you're going to look at that set. So there's all this lovely information here of what you need. So it gives you the, your body measurements, it gives you your finished garment measurements and your fabric requirements. So it's all there for you. Yeah, so you put those, you put the shoulder seams on. So I'm pressing them open now. And that's going to make it sort of much flatter at that shoulder seam. If it goes to one side, it, it can make a little bit lumpy there. So it's, you know, it's good to open it out and I like to trim down my seam allowances do you ever do that yes when do you? yes it just yeah. makes that bit there easier to sew doesn't it when you've got a lot especially if you're working on a thicker fabric you've got quite a lot going on there otherwise you have you? yes just pop that down there right so I'm bringing back my bodice and then I'm just joining up matching up the shoulder seams of the facing and the bodice. Have I got the right one there? No, I haven't. <laughs> there we go. So pin them to line them up. It's about 20 minutes left, Fiona. Right. Might be able to do a bit of gathering. Nice. Oh, when, when you said that earlier, and I said, you know, that's, that was my learning curve today. Yeah. We had a lady who said, um, I can't remember her name now, I'm trying to find her. She said that was a really good, uh, Valerie, yeah, Valerie Gillies says, thanks for the gathering up on Overlocker. That's a game changer, she said, I agree. Uh, game changer. You can yeah. see the thread that you have to gather really easily because it's the one that runs right down the middle. It's just like a running stitch, basically. So it's quite easy to find and just pull it out with a pin at the side and then it will very quickly gather up the fabric. So I, I'm just popping in some pins to keep that facing in place. Now with the long version, you will have, have to join the, with the facing and the buttons going all the way down, you have to join the skirt first. Join the skirt to the bodice. To the bodice, yes. 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 So that you've got the facing, so that facing's got something to attach to. So let me just pin, I'll just try and be a bit economic with pinning because then we can get on. There we go. So pop that one in there and then that one in there. If you want to shorten this dress, if you feel like the skirt section is a bit, um, I would definitely maybe take it from the top or shorten it in the middle it's you know don't because it's got the curved seam at the bottom curved edge at the bottom um it, it, I, th I think if you took it down from the top you've just got a little bit extra to extra gathering that's all so it yes. doesn't make a lot of difference and it's a lot easier to do that because we're all different yeah, you don't heights, want to, you don't want we? to lose that 
that lovely the curved, curved edge, hemline. No. And if, I mean, you, I've said in the pattern to, to, to turn it under the, the, the bottom hem, but if you want to, you could buy some, some bias binding and then just edge the bottom edge, mm. and it is a lot easier. I think I've done this one with it, where I've just edged the, so it just curves round much easier. Now I'm sewing on the facing now. So it's just literally straight up. When you get to the, the, the um, bit where it's there, it goes at an angle, just drop your needle down and then move it round. And then up you go. Just keep checking that your edges are together. go so I'm going I'm up to the shoulder seam now so what I like to do is just drop the needle down actually on the shoulder seam and then it starts to do a curve so pivot it round and then you can just curve it round some people like to draw a line there you know just to kind of make it a little bit easier to see but it's only a tiny little curve there so you should be all right without I always also like to move the needle and use the edge of the presser foot as a guide. Edge of the what? Edge of the presser foot as a guide. So you have the edge of, edge of the presser foot on the edge of the fabric. Yes. And then move your needle to get your seam allowance. Yes, definitely. And that way it's just very easy to follow it round, isn't yep. it? Yeah, you just follow the edge of the fabric. I was just checking to see I had some thread then because last time I was <laughs> oh, yes. sewing along and I had no thread <laughs> and Elliot was like saying I don't think no she's thread. sewing anything <laughs> I think he's got his his hawk eye on me this time <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so easy done though isn't it it is yes so annoying though isn't it, it? All you, get to the, you think oh yes job done and yes. then, no actually not <laughs> One of my sewing machines, it beeps at me when the bobbin's low, which oh, is a very it? handy feature, actually. Pardon? It's a very handy feature. I think that's, it knows it that's super, you. yeah. That's an all-singing dancing machine, that yes, is, isn't it? Yeah. Right then. So I'm going to take my pins out and just a few little nicks on the back neck there because that's where you've got a little curve. I've done about four. One, two, three, four. Another thing that's good is to just reduce down the bulk of the seam, the cross seam there. So if you nick either side and then get your scissors underneath and just trim that down. Oh, there we go. So about half the seam allowance. Please don't cut yourself. Pardon? Don't Please want to cut don't myself. Cut yeah. <laughs> Preferably. <laughs> I did have one lady cut herself this festival. On the show? Yeah, she, <laughs> she, was, she was on the last Should bit of cutting and she managed to cut herself, but not badly, just. Aww. Right, so here we go. Like snip all your threads off and then you're ready to turn it to the right side. See, it's like a little bolero, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yes. So when you're pressing, Start off by pressing the seam allowance towards the bodice, so away from the facing. Now you could stay stitch at this point, but the whole thing's going over and it's got the interfacing on it, so you might not want to bother with that. Because you would have to got do it the other way. Left, right, so over it goes and then you press it so that the seam line is in line with the fold. <coughs> so you've got a nice crisp edge but it really helps pressing it out first. Yes, it sort of embeds the stitching it doesn't does, it? It does, yes. Laying in I think they call that mm. don't they? Well, I mean we, we were taught embed Literally, the sort mm. of threads sort of go into the fabric. Mm. But yes, I think there are different terms for it, aren't there? Mm. 
Yes, I mean, I, I'm great one. I mean, even tacking, I'll, I'll, I'll tack something and then I'll press it before I sew. Oh, do you? Mm, because the tacking sometimes makes the fabric a little bit sort of puckered, or not puckered, but, you know, raised. And it just makes that little bit of difference, makes it more of a pleasure to sew. It's really for that, really. It's just to make it a bit more satisfying. It's, it's all about the experience that you have when you sew. It's not always about the end result, isn't it? Oh, I fi find it very therapeutic. Yes, I mean, I if really you're struggling, you know, this is what I love about dressmaking is that, you know, I don't want people to struggle with my things. I, I like to have something that's fairly easy so that I'll make it again. Mm. And I mean, I had one woman the other day, she wrote to me and she said she'd made, so I think last time I was on the show for my dress Orla, and she'd made six. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, result, because... <laughs> That is exactly yes. what I want. I want you them use it in different, make it in different, make fabrics. it in different ways. Yes, yep. it looks. I mean, this dress I'm wearing, I've made in a different fabric, um, and it just looks totally different. That's right, and that's the beauty of dress making, isn't it? Is that you can pass, you know, make things exactly to your requirements. You know, you're in the fabric you like, the style you like, and play around with things, try things out. You know, I mean, it's infinitely fascinating which is why I'm still in love with sewing after <laughs> all these years. I'm still completely besotted with it. <laughs> did you start in knitwear? I did, yes, yes. I started as a, as a knitwear designer. Oop. I did a textile, fashion textile degree in Brighton Uni, which I didn't mention on my film. Afterwards, I sort of thought, oh, that's kind of got a bit erased. But um, yeah, so I, I sort of started, and then I had um, my own collection of knitwear. When I left college, I got all these buyers from America came uh, and, and, and sort of placed big orders. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, I've got see to that make one them. coming. <laughs> so, and then I did that for a few years, and I sort of thought, I've got a bit fed up with sort of making you know, production and everything. And then um, I just went to Paris one weekend with some friends and two of them were designers over there. And when they were there, sort of a girl left and they were looking for a knitwear designer and they said, would you be interested? And I went, yeah. <laughs> so I thought, I'll stay a year. But I ended up staying six years. Fabulous. Can you speak French? Oui. <laughs> <laughs> Bien sûr. <laughs> that's about the end. That's about it. <laughs> so, um, now, when it comes to, so that's your bodice. Um, now, we're going to do our skirt part, but before you do that, what you want to do is to cross over the section at the front. And I think it does tell you there's a notch on the pattern that tells you how far to, to so you have to match up your centre notch. So I haven't got my, that on here. So, but it's sort of about like that. So this is actually so you've got the placket for your buttonhole. That's right. So you know if you sit if you sit it flat like that, it should just sit. It's how it's it how it is. If you if you just have the side seams straight like that, and then you can pin it in. But you have got a notch that you can line up with the centre on your pattern. And then you just, I think it does tell you how many. You've so this is actually doing the hack you're doing, because if you're making the dress that you've got on the, on the mannequin there, you'd have attached the skirt before you're doing that, wouldn't That's you? That's right. Whereas I'm now I'm going to attach my skirt now. Five minutes we've got left on the Right. Row. So here's my skirt. So I've got the back and the front. But obviously if you've got the... Um, if you're doing the, the long version, the long facing version, then you will just join the front pieces to the back at the side edges. So I'm just joining my side edges. And you have a little, or you should have, uh, if you're Wendy, you'd have a little spot with your magic pen. But I've got some tailor's tacks, so just as good. And that just shows you where to stop sewing. So it's the bit where the curve starts. So you want to just um, mark that somehow, whatever way suits you, and then um, pin it at the side seams. And then we're going to put it on the machine and sew right down to that marker point. So it's easy peasy. Uh, 
And then the other side too. So where is that that you're showing us on the video? Is that, is that your sewing room or? Where's that? Oh, so good. <laughs> While you're busy pinning, we're looking at um, a video of it. Uh, uh, when you, and you're modelling and there's like uh, a, a pinky picture behind you and a grey curtain. Oh, Here it is. That's, look, 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 where is that? That's my husband's art on the wall behind me, the great Marco, who's in the green room at that's the moment. That's very nice. Hello, darling. And he's a fantastic artist. <laughs> I would say that, wouldn't I? Um, yes, well, he's right. And that is in my front room. That oh, is okay. in my dining room, yes. So. But I sometimes do it in um, do my photographs in uh, my studio, outside my studio. I quite like um, I've got a garden studio. I like having sort of plants around me and yes, very nice. You know, nature and I've got three minutes left. Right. So I probably won't get time to sew the other side, so what I'll do is just stop here and just show you, because I've got the pins in, so, and then, so you're sewing the other side just the same way as I did there, and then, now I've got my overlocking, you can see there also I've got my notches, um, I've just Put, put them in with a, with a pen, but you could put a pin in, I suppose. And when you're gathering it up, you then should match up the notches to the, there should be some notches on here, and there aren't. So you put, <laughs> <laughs> so you put your notches on here before you um, put them together. And so you're gathering it up, like so, front and back, and then you pop it inside here, so you're matching right sides to right sides, so I've turned that inside out for the wrong reason, and now front and back are the same, so you don't have to worry about that, and pin it at the side seams, like so, and then you just ease your gathers around, So match up the side seams, ease your gathers up to fit. Just got one minute. And you pin it all the way round, sew it all the way round, and when you turn it up, hey presto, you've got a skirt that joins your bodice. And mine has got some little tabs for belts, so uh, you can put in as many tabs as you like. I think in the pattern I've just said put two or three. What have I got on there? Yes, I've just got two side tabs. But if you want one at the back as well, that's great. And you've got your tie belt here, long strip that you join together. If you can cut it as one piece, I would definitely advise that because you haven't got a join. But um, some fabrics you won't be able to do that. So I've just, rather than having it a huge piece that you have to buy extra, I've yes, just cut exactly it on the like cross. Join it. You and won't then, notice that anyway. That's right. Especially if you've got a back tab. I yes. think if you have got a centre back seam, I think it's nice to have a back tab on your dress. And then um, I'm wandering off to find my uh, tie loop, my loop turner. And of course it's not there. So um, don't yes, worry, um, we, we need to crack on, but we know what you're going to do. You're yeah, going to so turn you turn it through, through with your, your tie yes. and then you can top stitch it afterwards and then feed it through your tie yeah. loops. And so it's all on. done. That's brilliant. Thanks ever so much, Fiona. Time just rushes past, doesn't it? <sighs> it's always <laughs> never enough. <laughs> when are you back? So I'm back at the end of September, so I think it's the 30th of September with a new pattern. A new so pattern. I'm very excited about that. That yes. would be really brilliant. Yes. yes, let's hope. It's lovely to be here. So we're just going to go through the patterns again. So what we have first, of course, is the one that uh, Fiona's been working on, the Betty dress. Um, 8 to 22, it says on the intermediates and that's if you're using the button version purely because of the buttonholes um, or you could do the version that Fiona's been working on and you can see that on her blog. 
Really good. We also then have fabric. So the fabric we were working on is this print here. So this is £7.49 for the half metre. So if you're wanting to use this, you will need three metres. So that's six units of that. Or you could use this one, which is also beautiful. So this is a directional one. Really lovely, pretty thing. So this is bright eyes in facets. This is coral. So again, buy the half metre. So don't forget, you will need to buy multiples. We have the bowls, the breakfast bowls. So really lovely, stacking bowls. That's very nice too. So again, by the half metre. And then the last one is this, this is same print, but this time in sort of oranges and reds. This is Facets Aqua. So it's a really lovely print. Very lovely. So these are Anna Maria Horner fabrics, so really beautiful quality fabrics. We also have the linens. So we have aqua, which is this beautiful sort of bluey aqua colour. It's enzyme washed 100% linen, and this is a bundle of three metres. So this time you only need to buy the one bundle, 34 99 for the bundle of three metres. That's the aqua. We also have lavender. Now this is actually the most popular of the three. This is very nice, isn't it? It's lovely. Again, enzyme washed, 100% linen, and you get a three metre bundle. So that would make that dress beautifully. And then the last one is the grey. So it's a soft silver grey. It's a very soft silver grey. Um, again, it's that lovely linen, 100% enzyme washed linen. And we do have some other patterns so we have the trousers, which we've got on the set here with us. Really lovely. So you've seen these. We showed you these trousers. I say this is the Royal We. Fiona showed you these trousers in a lovely viscose. Is it, these are in the linen. These are really great. Very easy to wear. And if you make them in the linen, they're very soft. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Cecily dress. Sizes 8 to 20. So you can have long or short sleeves with this. And it's, again, it's got a belted at the waist. And then the last one we have is the Martha skirt. So the Martha skirt here. And this you can do in two different fabrics to make it tonal. Or you can have it just in the denim. So really lovely. I love that in the two colours. What's on your chair? <laughs> Do remember to check. Oh, you've got a pocket on the back there. I hadn't noticed yeah, that before. That's, that's a, a cushion on the chair. It's oh, just like a, in orange segments, all in different African patch fabrics. Uh, we're going to go to the break now, but after that, I will be back with lots of fabulous fabrics and some of them are really beautiful autumnal colours. Are we ready for that yet? I think so. See you in a few minutes. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. 
Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say, don't get disheartened. Take your um, learning journey slowly. Don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt. Build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Hi, welcome back. Now I've got some beautiful fabrics in front of me here. But before we get into the fabrics, let's have a quick look at the website and how you can pre-order some lovely things. So go to Watch Live, hee, I'm here. And then you'll see next to it a scrolling banner. Now, if you click on the previews page, and then you can see some of the previews. Now these are some of the things which are coming up, but they're not today, but you can still pre-order. Now this calendar is already there. This is the Hemline Christmas calendar. I, I had one of these last year and obviously I've got an awful lot of haberdashery, but I still enjoyed opening it every single day. I really did. Um, it's just nice to sit there and you open, you've got a little bit of scissors, you've got thimbles. We've also got K Facet quilt kits on there too. Look at those beautiful quilt kits. We all know his fabrics are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and we have also, is that, are we previewing the, um, the video watch the demonstrations and things okay so that's not today so that's coming soon um, but yes you can look on the website and you can pre-order those cave facet kits quilt kits oh amazing absolutely amazing right now we've got some lovely fabrics i mentioned earlier that so we had some autumnal colors on these fabrics so uh yes that's quite difficult so i have got three beautiful fabrics here with no codes so uh, none of them have got codes on. So th this is this first one is, is leaves, autumn leaves. Can you find it from that? Uh, 
they, I mean, look how beautiful it is. Hoffman Fabrics. Shall we come back to this one? So beautiful, I must say. Shall we come back to it? Nope. There was a bag with it. There was a bag with each of these, but they weren't in any particular order. Let's try... Uh, what about these ones? Have we got codes on these? Yes. Yay! Let's start these ones first. Yes, you're right. There are two lots of those. So this one is... TWU175. Now, this is very limited, this one, but it is really beautiful, isn't it? Hunter's jacket. Okay. Oh, the inside lining of a jacket. Hoffman Autumn in the air emerald gold leaves. So, this is, a, this is the half meter piece at 749. So it's very, very pretty. So it's a deep, it looks quite sort of black background, but it's actually a deep green. So it's a really deep green with all these leaves. Very pretty, I think. So it's almost got like a stripe in it as well, as you can see going down. The colours on there are beautiful, aren't they? Very autumnal. So if you're thinking about autumn, I like the fact that it's also got gold in it. I think it is. It is actually metallic gold. There's some metallic gold in there as well, which is really pretty. So very, very lovely fabric. Beautiful designs, all those lovely leaves. But they go beautifully as well with some others. So this is one. But if we look at the next one. This one is P-U-U-I-O-1. Now, there are only five units, only two and a half metres of this. So this is, if you're going to do something, this is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? This lovely. It's got little, it's got like raindrops on the leaves, but again, all these lovely colours of leaves are so beautiful. And this again, it's, it's sort of a, it's very, very dark green, more than black, really, the background. But it's very, very pretty. You can see the size, if I put my nails in, you can see the size of the leaves. Quite big leaves there. Really lovely, lovely quality cotton. It's a Hoffman. Really pretty. So it's, again, it's nice and autumnal. You can definitely dress make in this. I've dressed make in Hoffman fabrics before. So it'd be, oh, that, that would make a lovely dress. It'd have to be like a shift dress now because we've only got two and a half metres left. You could make it into cushions, you could make it into table runners. If you do your house differently every time for different seasons, furnishings for seasons, you definitely could. I just love those colours, they're beautiful. And then again, this one. So we're, these are all individual. We don't, we're not doing this as a bundle, are we? This is just individual. So this one is... Find it round. X A U. I18. So again, look at this. So that's put it around that way. Would make a lovely tote bag. Look, you've got your pumpkins. So this is very sort of Halloween-y as well, isn't it? Definitely all autumn. You'd make little tote bags, drawstring bags out of this. If you're going to go trick or treating, you could make some little bags to put the treats in. Really pretty. Lovely designs. So we've got beautiful sunflowers and then leaves again you could you know you, i mean this would be beautiful for quilts throws if you made if you made a throw of something like this for the autumn but backed it with fleece it would be lovely and cuddly and this is half a meter for 749 on a cotton print very lovely very nice soft fabric I'm not sure about a dress in this. I do see it, but it's a bit Halloween-y, I feel, for a dress. Well, that's fine if you're going to a Halloween party. And you have to be a little bit careful where you place the um, sunflowers. Very lovely, that one. So that is, that is those three. Now, we also have some autumnal ones again. 
but this time lighter backgrounds. So these are the lighter background ones. So again, we've got those lovely leaves and sunflowers. So let's start with the first one, which is MCU1, yeah. So they are beautiful. Now this we've only oh we've only got two units of this left, only one metre left of this one. I love the colour eyes. I like the fact you've got the autumnal colours, but it's still bright. This is really pretty. And again, you've got little hints of gold, metallic gold in them as well. So really beautiful. Just a metre left if you're interested in that one. So if you are and you put it in your basket, please don't forget to check out. It's not yours until you have done so. Again, it's got that sort of same stripe going through because of the leaves and the stalks. Ah, I wondered, so the three that I looked at just now, I'll just bring them back into view quickly. Those three, this is the emerald ones, you can buy all three of them as a bundle. So just move this one out of the way a second. That does come as a bundle for 19.99 but we only have one left now so it's one and a half meters if you get all three they do work so well together so we haven't got many left but if you like them grab it because that's nice so back back to this one again so this is this beautiful print which we've got a limited amount of and then let's look at the next one in this sort of range again is this as a bundle as well Okie dokie, so we have this one which is separate, this one is, 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 so this is ZGUI32, so it's the lovely leaf design again, and I think I'm just going to check, yes it is gold, metallic gold on the leaf, the little raindrops and things are metallic gold, so very, I just love it on the white background really pretty can you see the gold on the leaf there very pretty isn't it just little hints but again you can see when I do that to it it just looks gorgeous when it folded so yes what about a dress in that for the autumn beautiful absolutely fabulous seven pound 49 for half a meter so if I were buying that enough to make a full dress like this, I would be looking at three metres. Of course, you could be making quilts or bags out of this too. That would look really lovely. Nice autumnal quilt with, yes, high loft wadding, so it's nice and thick. Or even throws. Or you can have, you know, across the, the, a runner across the bottom of the bed. I mean, they look really good too. Or we can have the sunflowers. Sunflowers here. Oh, get up the right way. This is BDUI 96. So doesn't this look different? So this looks really different on the white background as it did on the dark green background. £7.49 for half a metre. The it's autumn is in the air, harvest gold sunflower, sunflower and pumpkins. And again, what we've got in here, we've got little flecks of metallic gold. I do that, I don't know if you can see that. You see how it shimmers? Little flecks of gold there. You could definitely fussy cut this. It has got a little gold shimmer to it. This Again, this would make lovely bags. You could do nice little trick or treat bags with this. Little drawstring bags. 
if you have yeah, if you have dinner parties if you have like harvest festival things or um, Halloween dinner parties you could make some really nice table mats out of this you could easily make four out of just this one so very lovely you can make an apron you make some nice Christmas bit uh, Christmas not quite uh, you can make some nice autumnal bits for the kitchen too really like that I think it's beautiful lovely print lovely quality Now this is available again in a bundle but it is very limited as a bundle so you can still buy it by the half metre but you can also buy the three half metres as a bundle. So they're the three half metres as a bundle. They all look beautiful together. They do go, I mean I don't know if we've still got that bundle left but they do go with those as well. Kind of bringing out the different colours. So you could think about getting both bundles. So for 19.99, this is the one with the white background. And now we're going to go for some different looking fabrics. Let's look at this one here. So I'm going to start with the stars. Now I can read the code off of here. XBUI23. Is this still half a metre? It is, isn't it? I was going to say, this, this feels like there's more to it. It's extra wide backing. So this is extra wide backing. It's 108 inches wide. So it's still 50 centimetres of 108 inches wide. That's, like, ooh, that's not even half of it. So it's that and that again. I, mean, I can't do it any wider than that. So this is, this is great for the back of quilts or the back of a duvet, if you're going to do a duvet, duvet cover rather than a quilt, you could use this on the back. If you, I mean, it's a bit late now, but if you're going to a July the 4th party, you could make this, couldn't you make something nice out of this? So very lovely piece there, lovely cotton, not cotton print. And this is, um, it's a Windham fabric, 108, so it's called quilt back, but only because it's that wide. You don't have to use it for quilt backing. It's a lovely crisp cotton. This is really nice. It's nice to have something that's, that's different and patterned. So this would look beautiful as a quilt back. But again, forget it's that wide. So, you know, 12 99 for half a metre, but it is over a metre wide. So that's a really beautiful one. And of course, you can use it for all different things. 12 99 just for that piece. I'm just going to put that back in there so we can marry it up later next we have got this black black back and again extra wide backing this is flyh91 so this is it's extra wide backing again so this is half the width that's half the width there so remember i've got two layers of that there but i can't just can't hold it any wider so it's 274 centimetres or 108 inches. So again, this is a really lovely one for the back. This is, this is 899 for that half metre. So if you buy two, you'll be getting two, was that four, four five, nearly five metres, 50 centimetres. Yeah, I, I can't work that out, but yeah, you're in a lot of fabric. You're in a lot of fabric. So each piece is 2.75 metres wide. And because of the print, of course, you can use the width as your length. This is really pretty. I like the fact on this one that you've got all these different, so it's almost like a um, spiral graph, isn't it? Different ones, but it's black, black, white and grey. So very pretty print. I love the fact you could use that. So you don't have to use it as a backing. You can use that, you can cut that into panels and make it into a quilt with it. Or as I say, this makes, I mean, if you're going to do a duvet cover, you could do something like this as well. Really pretty. You could make pillows out of it. It is a cotton. So you can make pillows. You can make cushion covers, throw cushions. You could have a, one of those throw that goes off across the bottom of the bed. This is a very good price, eight ninety nine for two point seven three meters wide. 
So it's a very wide piece. Two hundred and seventy four, sorry, I did a centimetre. So grayscale flower heads on black. But they just look really beautiful, quite modern. So this is by the half metre. So if you buy two units, you will get a metre by two point seven four. It's quite hard to work that out, isn't it? Two point seven four by a metre, yes. So that's really lovely. It is very popular, this one. Very good price. Three, yes, you'd want to buy multiple units if you're thinking of it as a backing of something, or even curtains for a teenager's room. Like black, don't they? Very nice. I love the designs on that. Grey scale. Really pretty, but not too pretty pretty. Well, I would use it as a quilt backing, I must admit. And I actually quite like um, having fleece on one side as well. So make it like a, a blankie type thing, you know, that you have as a throw in the living room. But the one that I would probably use is coming up. So that's that one. But let me show you the next one and you'll see why I would use it. There's two options on the next one. But I'm going to show you the black one first. So this is UXY H56. Look at this. So again, it's the extra wide backing. I've only opened it partially. 899 again. And it's still that lovely width of 108 inches or 2.74 meters. It's just, it's, I just think this is so much fun. You can make curtains out of this. It's such, it's such fun, this, it's really pretty. You could do um, borders. You imagine if you have a sort of quite a wide border going down one side or round, round the edges. If I just if I fold it up into border length, imagine having a border like that down the sides of a <laughs> down the side of a quilt. It just looks great. It looks great just like that. So that's. But then you can you know you can use it for whatever you like. Now this is half. That's half the width, so it's double that width. Literally, I just can't hold it any wider. But if I did that, you see, you see what I mean. So double that width, and that's half a meter. That's huge. Isn't it? It's really huge, <laughs> and I just love it. One P and P, remember. So if you've bought something already today, your P and P already is already covered. So absolutely beautiful. I love all the different colours in it. Spot on. I like that. I don't know if it's spot on by or spot on by somebody. But I've only got spot on. It's good for you could oh what about a bean bag out of something like this? This would be great. You could use a trade make a changing mat. There's a white version as well, which would make be nice for the baby's room. Lots of storage items you could make. It's almost, because it's got big circles, it's almost like planets. So you lots of things. Oh, you're thinking ball pits, are you? Yes. <laughs> oh, I remember those days. Really beautiful. But we're not, it's not the only one we've got. We've also got the same one. But this time, we have got it in white. So this one, do you know this code? Okay, got this one. So this is lovely in the white. Spot on by Nutex, it says. So again, it opens up wide. It's, this is double this width. This is only half the width. So it's double that. It's just fun. It's almost like clowns. I think, I think of clowns when I see this. But it's, it's just a lovely print. Nice and fun. Great for party. Can you imagine bunting? I mean, I know it's a bit of a big piece of fabric for bunting. But um, you know, anything like any sort of party things, this would look be so lovely, I think. 
bit different. And definitely, definitely, you can def yes, you definitely can cut your fancy cut buttons here. But also, you know, we're talking about baby stuff. What about baby bumper for the cot and a baby quilt? It's just fun colours, isn't it? They, you know, they love bright colours. And again, you could make your changing mat, changing bag. You get an awful lot out of half metre of this because it is 2.74 metres wide for just £8.99. So you would get a lot of that. A lot of people are multi-buying on this. This wood, it is cut off the bolt for you. So I just love to see that warehouse, you know. So what you have here is a really big piece. And then, of course, if you multi-buy, it's going to be huge. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that print and I love the spot. I just think I love that colour, that nice white bright. Looks really beautiful. So absolutely gorgeous colour there. And it was available also in the black. They go together as well. So they look lovely. One is the top and one is the bottom. You could do. Oh, is this brand new today? Wow. So coloured spots on white, extra wide backing. This is the most popular one so far. Okay. Okay. Oh, Susan Briscoe. Oh, Susan from Bristol. Good morning. Love the show. Going to make a dog bed cover with the black. Good idea. That is a nice idea. <laughs> Let's have a look at the black again. So I'm going to keep, make sure I keep my bags together. This is the black one. This is a good idea for Susan. And black's probably better for something like that. Unless you've got a white dog. <laughs> yes. But the white one would be great. But also, you know, if, if you make a little dog coat as well, you could use one of these funky prints. They're really sweet. Almost day glow, aren't they? So they'd be good for them. Now we've got one more in this little set of the backing. This is the extra wide backing again. Do you need the number? You got it? So again, this is new for us. And again, it's the extra, extra wide. Look at that. And this is for quilt backing, so it's 108 inches wide. Peeking over the top, hello. 108 inches, it's only half the width I'm showing you here. Which is a great price, it's just 8 99 for half, half a metre, but that half metre is 2.74 metres wide. And I just love the fact that you can make backings for quilts and for duvet covers and any other big project without having seams going through them. So this is a nice pattern and it will go with lots of different colours too because of all the colours in it. So really lovely. Circles and what are those shapes? Kind of making diamond, aren't they? That's a very lovely print, so um, you buy multiples of that. Loads of people are putting this one into the basket. This one hasn't been seen on Sewing Street before. So it's very pretty. Lovely colours there. And again, you can use it for all sorts of things. You're not restricted to using it as a backing. That's something you can do um, because it can be seamless. But of course, you can use it for lots of other projects as well. Nothing's stopping you. got a message from Elizabeth here saying morning love very late in but still managed to get some of this glorious fabric it says your dress is very nice today thank you and it really suits you thank you for saying that thank you because well, I can't because I've got my leads hanging out the back when I <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lit up it's a butterick so that is a really beautiful fabric there really loved I love the fact it's extra wide and of course, because of the pattern design, I could do it that way just as easily as that way. So you can use it, um, the length, the width as your length if you wanted to. And yes, you could use it for borders. Let's fold it up smaller. See, that's a nice border. 
but we, that would really add and you, if you use it nice and wide like that as well because it's got a lot going on there hasn't it absolutely lovely definitely one to have in your stash i think just you know if you just got a meter of that two that's two bundles that would be so much fabric right so you can do these ones you've got the codes okay Let's start with the all over leaf. So this is very similar to the one we looked at earlier, but this time it's got a mulberry background. So the background is sort of mulberry color as opposed to that dark green. So again, I just love it. I love the autumnal leaves on here. Really very pretty. And it's got the hint of gold in, hint of gold in there. See this again would make a beautiful dress. I know I always think of dresses, but it would make a lovely quilt as well, or cushion covers. I mean, you really can do anything you like with these fabrics. And because the print's all over, again, you can actually cut them up. If you wanted to patchwork with them, you can do that too. If I fold it up and fold it smaller, so you could, again, you could do it as a border. What a glorious border that would be. That would be fabulous. Or, of course, if you wanted to have it in small, small little squares. So it cuts into small little squares. Again, it just still looks great if you're just going to patchwork it. So it doesn't really matter. You don't have to, because it's a lovely print, all over print here. You can use it in a big piece, which because it looks glorious, or you can actually choose to use it small. So Hoffman Autumn is in the air. This is mulberry gold. Really lovely. I love the feel of it as well. It's a lovely soft cotton, which has been printed. So I'll show you the back there. Imagine you can make that like the back of a waistcoat. Bags, I love the colors. Really pretty set. Now, we also have, so again, this is mirror in the emerald green version, but this time we've got this sort of mulberry background to these. So this is actually more limited. Um, this is again 7.49 for half a meter, but there's not quite as much available. So if you're interested in this one, please do grab while you can. Um, and we, I think we will be having them as a bundle as well in a minute. Not this one, we haven't. So this is a lovely, again, it's got the gold in it. Can I just pick it up? If you can see, see the gold. Can you just see it shimmer? So it's just a little hint of gold. It's nice, isn't it? Very pretty, quite subtle. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, they might have used gold leaf when they designed it, yes. Autumn is in the air, isn't that a lovely idea? Very pretty. So it goes well. And again, you could mix and match these with the white ones we were looking at earlier as well. They go well together. So that's, <laughs> that's the same design. Absolutely beautiful together. And the last one of this, this section, this three, on the Burberry, Burberry, Burgundy, whatever, <laughs> is this one here. So this is the pumpkins. Really pretty. So let's, again, it's the um, autumn is in the air, mulberry gold sunflower. So with the hint of gold in it again, in the sunflowers. This would make very posh linings, wouldn't it? This is just a regular width, remember, this is 7.49 for half a metre. But this would, I mean, this would make a fabulous bag, but it would also make a fabulous lining for a bag. It would be very posh, wouldn't it? 
Well, lining even for a coat, you know. You don't have to have polyester for linings. Very pretty. This is, yes, this is a very pretty one. Very autumnal. Suits or suit linings. That's really lovely. And then we can do these last three that we've just looked at as a bundle. Oh, okay, we can't because it's sold out. We could do those last three as a bundle, but we now can't. We have also, so this one here is another set. So we've got two more sets to show you, but this one is kind of like a little all over print. And it's a, a whole selection here. I'll start with the top one, but I'm just going to show all of them together. We haven't got these as a bundle. They are all individual. But look at that range of colours. So you might well want to get all of these. But let's start with the green, which is PUUI83. So this is the green. So it's the same design on all of them. And again, I'm just going to check my glasses. Yes, it is. You don't, not that you need to see the top of my head. But look, it's got gold. This has got little flecks of gold. It has been on once before, this one. But this is lovely. It's a sort of all over print. So it can be used for all different things. And you know, again, you can cut very small pieces out of this and it won't spoil the design because it is all over any direction. It's lovely. So this is our green one. Nice quality. Anything, you can make anything out of this sort of fabric. It's really, really nice, a nice quality cotton. So it's, it will be good for borders, for sashing, for bag linings. It would be, if you have a big print, you could easily put this in between. You could just, so if you wanted to put it in between that, if you see if I put those together like that, it just really makes that color pop out. And again, I can do the same thing with that one. So you're mixing and matching these collections. So that's the green. But let's get out this lovely one. So we've got three sort of orangey ones. This one is BCU I40. Now we are limited on this one. I like this one. It almost looks like batik, this one. Again, it's the same design. It probably does have a direction, actually. I said it was non-directional, but now in this colour, you can see it sort of ferns. It is like grass. It is. It's like the sun has set, and you can get this orange hue across the fields of all these beautiful orangey colours. Very pretty. I love the colour of that. But as I say, think about comparing it with, or bringing it together with one of these, this bundle we had earlier or these that we had earlier. They are still on the website. Look how well they go together with this one. So consider that as well. Now we have only got seven meters left of this one. So it's 14 pieces. It's lovely, it's lovely cotton. It sews beautifully, Hoffman. This wood, this again, you could make a dress out of this. This would make that lovely dress that we saw just now, the, um, which one did we just do? The Betty dress? Was it the Betty dress or the Frida dress? That one we just did. That would make this beautifully. It's got some body to it. All of these would actually. They're often called quilting cottons. The only thing I would advise is that you do, I advise it, don't necessarily do it, I must say, but I would advise you to wash it before you sew it into a garment. 
um, because if it does shrink, it could be disastrous. I've done it before. So our next one here is this sort of more mustardy colour. So this one is DIUI60. This is like wheat fields. This is beautiful. But isn't it interesting though how the colour, the different colours make the design stand out in a different way. If I bring the green one back, it's the same, the same design but you can't really see it as you can on this one. It just looks more like the speck stands out more than that one. That's, oh, it's a field at night with fireflies, very, very romantic. I'm just wondering if this has got the gold speck. Do you know it actually has? I think they all have the gold speck. Just about see the little gold specks in there. I'll move that up. Just little gold specks all over it. A little dust, dusting of gold. Very pretty. So again, I would, I would be using this on, for the backs of things, like the back of a cushion cover. So I might use something like that for the front. So it's like really bold for the front, or maybe even, oh, we haven't got them anymore, have we, you said, but if you had like a, a patchwork of these, on the front and then I'd use that for the back. They are available individually still so you can still get those individually. So it would be an autumn quilt or autumn cushions and again you could do it with the green bundle here. They just work as would that work with the green bundle. So these are really great fabrics to have as I'm saying it's a good idea maybe even to get the whole lot because they will work with something and because they, I mean, they are directional prints, but you can cut them into small pieces. You can easily cut them into strips if you wanted them as sashing. Or you can have them as borders or backing. Just very pretty fabric. We then have another sort of yellowy, eh? but this time it's more rusty and this time the gold fleck really stands out. So again, this darker colour, the actual leaf design almost disappears. You can see it when you look closely. This one is XVUI18. This is, it is like all this, it is like little seeds or the fireflies or the sort of dust from a wheat field. It's very pretty. And again, this, this works with other, other of the, the patterned ones we were looking at. They work together. Very lovely. Nice print. This you could use for Christmas. I think this one you could because it's sort of a red and the green one you could definitely, yes. Christmas stockings, again, you could do, I mean, I've done things like table runners, Christmas table runners you can do, Christmas sacks. <laughs> a Santa jacket, oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> you want a Santa jacket, do you? Okay. <laughs> but very nice, I love the colours on this one. And again, the sort of the leaf design is there, but it sort of fades a little bit because of the lovely speckles of the gold. Oh, interestingly, this has been the most popular one so far. It's available by the half metre, remember? So if you buy a metre, you get a metre length. It is cut for you from the bolt. So two units is a metre, or if you wanted three or four, etc., you just multiple the number of metres, uh, number of units you want. It's a very pretty one, that. It would, it would look a nice dress. More eveningly, but I think, <laughs> night timey, I think the next one is a great one for an evening dress as well. So that's, that's this one. That's crimson gold. And now we have it in this one. So this... This one is this lovely purple. Code, 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 here it is. 
This is VFUI 93. This is in mulberry, but I, I always sort of think of this colour as an eveningy colour. This lovely mulberry colour, kind of night time. And this one, the leaves are standing out as well as the lovely speckled. It's interesting how the speckled gold doesn't stand out so much on the lighter ones, but the leaves do, and then it reverses on here. But they still work beautifully together. I just love those. And again, you could bring in one of these. So they work together as well. So that, that, that sort of burgundy or mulberry, mulberry cut background, <laughs> that mulberry background is, uh, works very well together with this. Lovely, lovely jubbly. People are adding this to that. I don't blame them adding this to the basket. And definitely you could make a dress out of this. I think it, you make a really nice eveningy dress. You could you could put it, you can put it as like facings and linings and the plackets down the front of things. So you can keep a plainer colour or, or a tie. Or, or if, you made, if you made a shirt out of one of these prints and then you added plackets and things out of the other or do it the other way round. I mean, you can really make something quite stunning. Make lots of um, little bags, Christmassy bags. You could fill them with haberdashery or cosmetics, bath, bath stuff. Nice little overnight bag. There's all sorts, there's, there's sort of no limit. It's, it's, a, it's a piece of fabric, so you can do whatever you like with it. Don't feel you have to be limited just because it's called a quilting cotton. You can do what you like, it's lovely. But we also have this in yet another colour. This is the last one in this range. Ah, so I'm going to show this one super quick. There's only a metre left. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> so this is sort of a midnight blue. Really pretty colour. And again, you've got the flecks of gold. So it's real metallic gold. And then you've got the leaves. It's just a sort of lovely print. Midnight walk, yes, this is looking up at the stars. You could look up and that's all the stars up there. Yeah, I'm looking upwards. Oh, you're looking down. <laughs> There's only one metre of this, so if you do want it, please do check out because it's in your basket, doesn't mean it's yours. So that's that lovely one there. And then we have another collection. Now this time we're going away from sort of autumnal look to having a complete mixture of beautiful colours. So I'm just going to lay them all out first just to show you what we've got. Look at these. Look at those with the blues. Look. Aren't they gorgeous? I, I do, I feel this, I thought this is like John's range. I really could wear one, or any one of these as a shirt. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to start with the pink one on the top. I love that one, that's lovely. Move that to one side. So what we have here is this lovely pink. Now what, what is this? Do we know what this flower is? The code is CWYV83. Is that a lily? Yeah. It is a lily. Colorido peace, oh, it's a peace lily. I had a peace lily, but I've managed to kill it. I had it indoors and then it got so big, I put it outside and then it died. But a nice pink background for that. Very pretty. A nice cotton. Quite soft. Brand new today. Brand new today. 749 for the half metre. Oh, you could make so much. I think you could make basket liners or you could actually make fabric baskets out of this. 
I'm thinking of little like storage baskets that you could make. But you could, I mean, you could, or you could make a whole load of different size ones for your bedroom. I think it's very pretty. Again, it's, it's um, a directional print, so there's a right side up. But you could make a bag, you could make a large bag, or you could use this as a really fancy lining in a bag. Because you're making a really nice bag, you want to line it beautifully as well. So that's in the pink. Brand spanking new, this one, in this lovely pink colour. So again, let's find and see what it looks like as just a small piece. So that's a large triangle. We fold it again. And that's a small triangle. So you can still get the, the design idea. And equally, if we fold it into a small square, I like to see what it would look like if it was cut up and then grown again. So you've got plenty of flower on there. So even like little coasters look. If you had coasters, they would look nice. And again, you could have lots of things to match. So half a metre, £7.49. The next one, so the same design, but this time with a blue background. So it's the same design, but so isn't this beautiful? And it's funny how the flowers really pop out this time when it's on the blue. But again, very beautiful. You could, this has definitely got a holiday vibe to this. Definitely should be wearing this on the beach when you're going on holiday, having a cocktail on the little beach bar. It's really nice. But it would make a great bag, lining lining for anything. You're seeing men's shirt. Seeing a men's shirt, yep. I think you're right, it could be made into a men's shirt. Brand new today again. So this is our half metre. It's nice, isn't it? But that would, I mean, that would make a lovely bag. Cushion back. That, if you just imagine that in a bag, by the time you've done a box bottom, you'll have lost a bit off the sides where you've got more of a space bottom. And then, of course, you've got seams top and bottom as well. So you end up with a bag about that size. You just have to make sure you do it up the right way. See, that would make a lovely bag, lovely little tote. It's very pretty. And again, you can go back and bring in some of these other ones. So that's just picking up the little stamens in there. We have the same print again on black. So the lilies should really pop this time. This is your shirt for a night out, is it? Do you need the code? You've got the code, okay. So yes, this is, this is again, it's that, and the lilies really do pop out, don't they, because of the black background. You could make this into a shirt, you're right could even make this into a shift dress. I think that would look really elegant. Black shoes. But it is it will be lovely for other crafts as well. Although it's all over it is directional because they're all sort of going in one direction. Really nice the same sort of lovely soft cotton. It's a really pretty one, that. 7.49 for the half metre. You could use it for binding. You might, you might, you want, you'd want it to be quite wide. That's quite nice. So you could make it, you could, you'd have to sort of, 
So you can do that if you you can almost if you fussy cut it like that, you've got that up the centre would look lovely. Seat cushions. Yes, you could make seat cushions out of it. I'll show what I quite like as well. I've said this before, where you just frame fabrics. You can use embroidery hoops or picture frames and just frame a chunk of fabric. And you have a whole wall of all these different beautiful fabrics framed. They look really lovely. Now we also have, I'm going to go um, to this black one here because I like the fact we've still got our lily, but this time got low. You've got the coat for this one. You've got loads of other fabrics there as well, other flowers as well. That is so lovely. Now this one is brand new today. This is possibly my favourite, but it's also in the blue and the white, so it's only possible at the moment. So this is Colorido Floral, which is black. But look at these punchy fabric colours, all these colours here. You've still got the lily going through. So if you are thinking about quilting or patchwork, you can bring in the other lily ones and they will also go together because the lilies are following through. So I think that's beautiful. I love all those colours. Brand spanking new, said Paul. Very lovely, isn't it? So really nice pleats and gathers. Look at that for a skirt. One of those lovely dresses from So Girl. Really beautiful. We also have the same one in blue which is why I said I couldn't be sure which one was my favourite, because we have the same in blue. Look at that, it's in the blue. So again, I think it is directional, so let's just turn it up. That's so beautiful, isn't it? I'm thinking also, those trousers that I hope we had on So Girl just now. You could make them out of that. She made them out of a linen and she also made them out of a viscose, a soft viscose. But yes, absolutely. I think these are, you know, the colours in here are beautiful. Absolutely love this one. I think, I think it's my favourite, but I'll have a look at the next one and we'll see. £7.49 for half a metre. So I'd be looking at getting three metres. Same design now, but this time on a white background, which makes it look completely different. And again, beautiful. Oh, the right way up. So you have to be aware of that. There is a direction. All that means is when you're cutting your piece out, make sure you cut them all in the same direction, head to toe. Really pretty, I love that too. Mm. Oh, is it this one or is it the blue background? I think it's the blue <laughs> background this time. That is, this is beautiful, this really is. You could definitely make garden furniture cushions out of this sort of thing, garden tablecloths and things. We've only got two fabrics left to take us to the hour. Now these are all individual as well. This, is, this isn't a bundle, is it? It's all individual. So we now have another beautiful design, but this time black. Let's go black first. Ooh. Remind you of Smarties. No, I can't really ask you why, because it doesn't. It doesn't remind me of Smarties at all. I tell you what it reminds me of a little bit, and that's when you go to the um, nail bar and they have those little nails and you can choose your colours. Does it remind you of that, Paul, does it? <laughs> when you go to the nail bar and have your nails done. <laughs> beautiful colours again, beautiful prints that will make, mix and match beautifully with some of these as well. So if you're thinking patchwork and quilting, you can put these together and they still work well. 
And now we have one more to tempt you with, and it's got the blue. And actually what I'm thinking, I've, there's a dress I've got at home to make, which has got a different colour yoke to the dress and then a border around the bottom. So I'm thinking a metre of one and two metres of the other would do that. So that with that is what I'm thinking. Maybe that's what I'll go for, those two. Beautiful. Yes, it is. So some of this print here, they, they just, can you see, they go just so well together. So that one and that one. How about that? Shift dress, two metres of that. A metre of that, we should do it. So that's, that's going to be my order in just a few minutes, I think, providing it's not all sold out. So that's my dress. That's my next dress. So really beautiful fabrics here. Lots to choose from. We can either think now with these prints now or towards autumn or even Christmas. Now let's look at tomorrow's menu. Who's with you tomorrow? It's Vix tomorrow. So she is here tomorrow. At eight o'clock, you've got batik fabrics. I love batik fabrics. Catherine Wright is here, cute as a button bag. Um, that is at nine. At 10 o'clock, pre-cut fabrics, more pre-cut fabrics or fat quarters, etc. And then we've got embroidery panels with Catherine Wright. And at 12 o'clock, we have got sewing machines. Do we know what brand? No. So we've got sewing machines. <laughs> it's a surprise. So it's so nice to hear that sewing machines are back available again. Yay! That's really lovely. Uh, you do have to check website for the availability because sewing machines are still like gold dust, I'm afraid. Um, and uh, so I will see you again on the 26th of August, I believe it is. But until then, enjoy the shows with Vix, Rebecca and John. Um, and uh, I'll be back soon.